All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the second session of the All Eldari Party. Uh, I don't really have much in the way of announcements, uh, except for one thing. Uh, if you do not already own a physical copy of the Wrath and Glory Core Rulebook, uh, I'm actually doing a, a giveaway uh, via Gleam.io. Uh, you can find the link to that sort of sweepstakes to uh, you know, apply and hopefully get a physical book. Uh, there will be one winner, and uh, hell, if you're into Star Trek Adventures as well, you could get that book instead. Uh, either way, the link to the contest should be on uh, my Twitter. Uh, it should be the pinned post. And if you can't find it, just shout, and I'll direct you in the right way. Uh, but uh, without any further ado, we're just going to sort of jump right into things. And uh, starting next week, we're going to have the players do the sort of interim, sort of catch-up uh, opening monologue. But... I think this week we'll, I'll just do it myself. So, uh, the way we'll start off is that your execution of the Unbound Psyker Lopata has gained you minor favor within the Inari. Though you didn't end up meeting the Vizark face to face again, his proxy, the good Farseer Rari, has expressed that the Inari are pleased with your work. They're not quite at the stage where they're willing to go out of, your, out of their way to aid you working towards your own goals. But, you know, maybe a couple more jobs or, you know, a really good job and, you know, they might change their minds. And, of course, that assumes that your stellar performance continues. Uh, for now, though, you're all currently in your suite aboard the Yatara, dealing with yet another loss at dice cards to the Quartermaster Menson. You haven't lost uh. anything major this time, just your pride. And that's where we'll, uh, that's where we'll start with our Theater of the Mind. Wait, 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 there is, there is something wrong right here. You're assuming that Hagen still has pride. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you telling me that Menson got a quadratic straight? That's not even uh, a legal hand. That's not even a word. Straight again, uh, yet again. Every time. I don't know, something's up here. I think, I, think, I think I have a winning hand. It's called a shuriken pistol. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's got a lot of those as well. I... Somehow I think his is bigger. Mm. I mean, this would have put me in a bad mood, but I was already kind of out of sorts anyway. Hmm. Uh... Hey. Yeah, he so signed up to sort of fight chaos. Uh, not... And then the first mission is, hey, we uh, sort of spilled chaos onto a planet. <laughs> and yeah, just, trust us, just trust us that that was for the best. Yeah, well, isn't that the usual? You know, it looks like shit at first. But, well, we don't know because we haven't seen the visions, but in what they see, it's probably the best outcome. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't be doing it. We find up with a small tear uh, instead of a wide open doorway. <laughs> well, at least it's action rather than inaction. This is true. Well, I'll be honest, I don't uh, don't mind staying away from those creatures for a bit. That wasn't enjoyable. No, that, that wasn't fun. It was not a fun time. We all survived. Although what is a fun time is Life cleaning is out the Quartermaster and dice cards. What do you fellas say? I, say you I mean, yeah. I, I would assume cleaning the Quartermaster out of dice cards was fun. I've never actually seen it happen. Yeah, my pocket. No, no one has for centuries, points. apparently. <clears throat> but that, that's going to make it even better when it happens. Well, the solution here is that we need to play the Quartermaster in another game. I'm listening. A game of strategy. I'm listening. We could use miniatures made out of Wraithbone. <laughs> Okay, yes, okay, yes. And Go in on. order in order to represent the varying possible outcomes on a battlefield, we could use small polygonal dice. You mean not like dice cards, separate not, to dice cards? Not like dice cards, just dice miniatures. I'm not sure I understand what, what you're getting we'll, at. We'll work on it, we'll work on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, Sounds I, like an overly complicated way of just playing at Tin Soldiers. This is fair. I would like to go request at some point and see what kind of wares the good Quartermaster has. Okay. Speaking of Tin Soldiers, what's the Imperium presence in this sector like? 
Well, uh, if you consult the uh, the main computer, or I guess the what fares for the infinity circuit on the ship, uh, you would know that uh, right now the area you're in, because uh, right now you're just in normal space, you're not you know tr actively traveling through the webway or actively back in a craft world. Um, the immediate area, maybe about twenty to thirty light years out. Uh, there's all of one Imperial planet, and it's a garden world, so not a whole lot of Imperium to go around. Okay. Okay. But, uh, to answer an earlier question, uh, I am trying to find the page with all the Eldari weapons on it. Let's see, that is on page 287, I believe. Okay, yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, that was Seneca, I think? Yes. Alright, so Seneca, when you go to the Quartermaster, you of course find uh, Mr. Menson uh, sitting behind what is basically a glorified countertop with his wares behind him on the wall. And he says, ah, Seneca, it is good to see you. What can I do for you, my good fellow? Just figured I'd browse. I did not get an opportunity to during the last voyage. <clears throat> ah, well, uh, what are you in the neighborhood for? Are you looking for something range? Are you looking for something up close? Are you looking for something that is neither? Something unexpected. Well, I've got a lot of that. Uh, let's see. Oh. And he turns around and inspects oh, his heard. wall. <laughs> Let's see. No, can't give you a fusion gun. Rary would have my head. Sorry. Uh, I'm looking for something a little more primitive. More primitive? Hmm. Yes. Well, uh, there's always a, uh, a long rifle. I've got a bunch of those sitting around. Don't know how you feel about sniper rifles, though. I'll hold my hand up and just... I don't shoot particularly well. <laughs> no. Well... In the melee department, we have uh, quite a number of things. Let's see. And he kind of looks you over. You already got a sword, unless you want a second one. Could never hurt. Hmm. It wouldn't be a uh, wouldn't be another witch blade, but uh, it would at least be something else to use. Uh, you've already seen the singing spear, and certain member certain members of your party have already tried to win it twice, and I think we all know how that ended up. Yes, I'm afraid that my gift of foresight hasn't helped us in that department either. Ah, well, I think you'll find that there's a reason I keep winning. And he winks. But, uh, hmm, let me think. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'll, I'll give him a chuckle at the, at the wink there. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, how do you feel about orc weapons? I've got a, uh, got a choppa back here. I don't know how you feel about that. I think that could work. All right. He uh, he takes out the choppa, and it's literally just a simple weighty blade uh, that has got a bunch of teeth on it. And sits it down. He says, "Here." Probably weighs as much as you. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. It's it's heavy <laughs> as hell. Uh, but no, the uh, the choppa. So you don't have to look it up yourself. It is a three base damage plus two ed. Uh, okay. It has no AP. But it does have steadfast and wah, and let me look up wah what only wah works does. if you're an orc. It it makes it better if you get injured, I believe. Well, let's uh, let's take a look. Can't hurt to look. Doesn't hurt. Let's see. Uh, wah weapons produced by the mech boys defy human understanding. Blah 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 blah. When wielded by an orc, a weapon with the trait gallants a uh, grants a plus one bonus to attack and plus one ed to damage if the wielder is lightly wounded or heavily wounded so you're not an orc so unfortunately it doesn't yeah. apply what was the uh, steadfast uh steadfast was the other one yep awesome uh, i will I take that see. off your hands if you're not terribly attached to it nah things are common as dirt take it all right uh, let's ignore the first complication rolled per combat. Mm -hmm. yep. Very nice. Isenrian is going to pop in the room as well. Ah, good Isenrian. What can I do for you? Oh, well, I used to have a different fighting style and I might be looking into going back to that. Uh, would you have a Void Saber around? A Void Saber? Hmm. Turns and looks around. Let's see... Well, 
I think I might. Come to think of it, give me one moment. And uh, he kind of ducks behind the counter, and you hear a box being opened and rummaging around. And uh, after a moment, uh, he does pull up a what is essentially a uh, twisted and uh, tw- tainted spar of wrathbone, of wraithbone. Um, he pulls it up, and it's it's almost shaped like a literal saber would be normally. And uh, he sort of sets it down on the counter before him, and he says, Now I should tell you that, uh, you know, while this is kosher around, you know, us Corsairs, you take that under a craft world, and they're going to throw a fit. Well, do I do I feel anything regarding the sword myself? Like, you know, depending on where it comes from. Uh, let's see. Let's have you do a a uh, basic roll for this, just because it could get you uh, could get you some uh, glory. Let's don't peril. See. Yeah, don't <laughs> peril. Uh, I believe a scholar test would be in order here. Uh, let's call it a difficulty two. That's gonna go well. Hey! <laughs> hey, you got two successes. That's all you need. Uh, you would know that this is actually from Youthway. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah. So, you know, Hopefully. actually where you're from. Oh. Oh. And that's bad, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you whether you decide that's bad or not. <clears throat> uh, how much? He kind of looks you up and down and says... Tell you what, you don't tell anyone where you got it, I'll let you have it. But only because I know where you're from. I, I swept the sword and I say, got, got what? Where? Hmm. <laughs> See, it would be so much easier if, you know, you simply asked me for things instead of trying to win them via dice cards. And, and I think I'm going to burst into the room and be like, All right, Benson, you son of a... Oh, hey, everyone's... Yeah, what are you guys doing? Good evening. Hello. Yes, uh, Isenrian here just won himself a void blade. Yes, it was sorry, quite, a feat. quite a feat. Quite a feat. Kind of sorry you missed it. Yeah, it was a great time. How'd you how'd you manage that? Ah, uh, that's a gambler's secret. <laughs> well, I think I'm I think I'm actually quite true of gambling. Uh, Quartermaster, I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> what sort of duel? I don't know. Whatever. Well, what do you fancy? He looks you up and down. I don't really sense any psychic potential in you, so I guess a battle of the minds is out. Uh, how do you feel about uh, first one to score a, a cut across the chest? Hmm. Actually, well. I think we need somewhere scenic to, to duel, in any case. Don't you agree? Ah, yes. There is a uh, rather large atrium we could use for this, so the rest of the crew could see me hand your ass to you. Well, I was thinking more somewhere, you know, with a nice vista. Maybe we open up one of the Wraithbone windows and get get a picture of a sun in the background, something like that. How, how do you sound about that? I mean, that is the purpose of the atrium, so yes, that should work just nicely. All right. Well, I will go and uh, try and arrange some of the aesthetics of our fight while while you uh, while you uh, suit yourself to be destroyed by me. Ah, and I'll while we're wagering, the... oh, go ahead, Bishop. I'll go around the crew and set up the betting pool. All right. Thank you, Bishop. You are a dear. Here and take this, and I'm going to give him my uh, wealth. My... Yeah, so I if I give him wealth, mm-hmm. can I increase? the likelihood that people are going to bet in the pool, like, you know, because the pot's bigger. Yeah, I would say yeah. that's, at least to my knowledge, that's how wealth is supposed to work. Um, okay, cool. Well, I would like to give him three wealth. Okay. Woo. And uh, out of curiosity, are you just wagering your wealth, or are you going for something in particular? Oh, I'm... I'm I, I think I'm going to have to take that, uh, take that spear back from my good friends here. And uh, spear? maybe... Maybe you could uh, make a custom piece of armor for me. I had something in mind. <laughs> well, you have to win first, and uh, I think we all know how that's going to go down. Oh, I think we do. <laughs> okay. Um, with that, I think I'm going to... So, first of all, uh, are we in real space? 
Uh, you are in real space at the moment, yes. Okay. Uh, I would like to go to the atrium, like, ahead of the fight. And um, do f- a- fighting a ritualized duel while in the warp sounds like a really bad idea. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst that could happen. <laughs> I, I'm going to go and actually have a look uh, with my Wraithbone, my Webway, Peace Tone. Mm-hmm. Uh, in in the little dueling area, specifically within the confines of the area, for any portals. Oh, I see. I, or at least I think I see where you're going with this. You basically want to think with portals and mid fight, kind of show up behind him, kind of a thing. Oh, I was thinking literally, like, because I imagine the duel is kind of also like if you step out of the ring, you lose. I was mm-hmm. literally going to be like, open the webway and just be like, lock him in there. Like, well, uh, I guess I win. <laughs> but. I'll, I'll leave it up to you, depending on how well I do with that. But. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to remember the tech, the, uh, I think it's a tech test, is it not? Yes, it's a tech test. I'll, uh, I'll let's see, what is the okay. DN on it? Uh, DN5. So, I fail now, but I think I will use a wrath straight away, because I want to win stuff for my lovely friends. Okay. Um, okay. Remember, so, you just need to hit the oh, reroll yeah. button. Yes, no. Hey, look at that, oh, a total of seven. Uh, I will say that, yes, indeed, uh, you do find that there is a intersection with the webway. And I know we're probably abusing it and going off canon, but screw it. Uh, there is a uh, there is a small webway aperture uh, about midway uh, into the open space. Uh, mm. Part of this open space, let me describe the atrium a little bit better. So it is almost a, a spherical room, which means it has two sides to it. Uh, what, obviously the top has its own gravity field and the bottom also has its own gravity field. So they are using the entire sphere as sort of a, an open area. Um, there are exotic plants of all shapes and colors. Uh, there are pathways that go elsewhere into the ship. And uh, they're, you know, at the top apex and the bottom of the sphere uh, is what is essentially transparent wraithbone that sees out into space. Um, in the middle of all of the, on both the top and the bottom, uh, there is a green runic, uh, circle that has been carved into the deck plate, uh, or painted. You can't really tell. It's, it's hard to see. Um, but the circle is about the same size as a standard dueling circle would be. Okay. Fantastic. I'm very enthused. To, to hear all of this. Mm-hmm. Also, so if I is there going to be like chances of weird midair gravity fighting as well? I would say that uh, if the gravity cuts out for any reason, that yes, could be anti grav fighting. Oh, okay, great, mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna go and just prepare for my fight while everyone else does what they're doing. All right. And what are the rest of you doing? This man's probably going to a training area and trying to remember how the hell he was using two swords in the past. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. And Seneca and uh, Glaive, what are you two up to? I'm going to attune to my spirit zone. Alrighty. So, uh, uh, Glaive's just going to go around the crew and say, Hey, uh, Avon's going to go embarrass himself in front of the quartermaster again. Who wants to watch? <laughs> oh dear let's see so your spirit stone is this one and i believe the only one who has not attuned to their stone at this point is Avon. that's right all right so uh when you attune you are greeted by the feminine voice who identifies herself as selatara and she says i used to be a wraith guard and it only reason I wasn't lost forever was Lilith, Hes- Lilith Hex- Hesperax herself saved me. Ah, the Lady Gladiatrix. Indeed. I well, I, we, I think she's part of the what, Yanari uh, now. What were you fighting? Oops, sorry, say again? I think so. Yeah. I was just seeing what, what foe were you fighting? Uh, we were fighting Chaos itself. Uh, I remember that there were... Uh, quite a number of uh, corn demons on the field, and was uh, was for lack of a better descriptor, and part of the pun, but uh, it was a very bloody battle. Must have been 
a noble sacrifice you were prepared to make. Well, uh, to my knowledge, it did secure the uh, escape of my brethren, so that is all one can ask for. Indeed. I will do my best to honor you, then. Thank you. All right. Uh, as far as Glaive running around, uh, you know, trying to get a, a betting pool, let's have you do a... Let's see, not a fellowship, but a... What is it called? Uh, persuasion. Yeah, let's do a persuasion. All righty. Uh, DN of a one, because, you know... People really like seeing him get his ass handed to him. <laughs> hey, you got two. That's all you need. So I'm going to say, Glaive, uh, you do collect a sizable betting pool. Uh, most of it is in favor of the Quartermaster. In fact, uh, it is one to ten odds. Uh, so... <laughs> God. Yeah. All right. So uh, some hours pass. And after a few hours, uh, you all begin to gather in this open area. And I don't have a map for it, but I will in the future. Um, but you all begin to gather in this space. And it's not just you. It's members of the crew. Uh, it is uh, Rary herself even shows up. Uh, she kind of has brought with her this sort of ornate looking chair. And she sort of set herself up in sort of the referee position. And sure enough, uh, the good old quartermaster is there as well. And, uh, Avon, as you and Menson uh, approach the ring, uh, Rary uh, sort of projects her voice and says, Well, we all know what's about to happen. Just remember that we're not to give the new guy too much crap when he bites it. And, gentlemen, I believe the fight is going to be the first one to score a cut across the other's chest. Uh, however, there is also the additional stipulation, because I would like you two to still be in working conditions. You will be using standard armaments for this one, meaning that you will be using the following two swords. And, uh, you know, he or she literally sort of waves for one of her attendants, and they bring out what is essentially just a basic sword. Um, yeah. And she also goes on to say, and also to keep things fair for the good prince, and she says that as sarcastically as possible... We'll also do away with the normal armor. Okay. But please, combatants, take your equal and opposite positions, and we will begin. So take take my armor off, yeah? Yeah, so basically do okay. not count any armor for your resilience. Alrighty, and... Uh, it's just what? Uh, for a normal like? sword, I believe it is 3 plus 1 ED, but it also has parry. Yes. Okay. Cool. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, and I can I I can still have my little webway key. Mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I think I'm gonna actually turn to the crowd and be like, "Well, I know a lot of you uh, aren't super confident in me, but uh, I'll tell you what. Anyone that uh, w when I do win and I make everyone a, a whole lot of money who did bet on me, I'm gonna also give you. Uh, what do I have to give? Is that the same character? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll also be giving everyone a bit of my booze. There's I'll cheer a... for him on that one. Yeah. There's some. There's some muffled discussion. Maybe an occasional shot of praise. Alrighty. I think I am going to sit and basically. Uh, just wait for him to go. I think I'm gonna like hold action, as it were. Okay. So uh, you know, once you are in position, Rarity does give the signal for you to begin. And your action is to wait, or are you doing something more like a full defense? No, no, I'm I'm gonna hold action and, and wait. So I'm gonna attack him. I think I'm gonna wait for him to come into my range and then I'm just gonna slash him. Okay. Uh which Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that does give you precedence because he is literally going to just charge you. Okay. Um, so, let's see. He gets a plus one uh, attack bonus. And uh, let's see. I'll just roll it manually and count the successes. Actually, you know what? I think I can use Rary Sheet temporarily for this because they have more or less the same stats. Let's okay. see. Okay, fine. Yes, they have the same stats. Well, the stats that matter anyway. 
Okay, so uh, what is your uh, what is your defense? Uh, my defense is eight with uh, with with the sword. With the sword. All right. Well, uh, that would be eight successes. So okay. obviously he's going to roll some damage, but you are getting to attack him at the same time. So if you want to roll yours, yes. Okay. Oh, please. <laughs> no. Uh, his defense, oh, yeah, his his defense unfortunately is a five, and that is a oh. that is a complication. So let's let's. Why don't Can you I, click I the button? I think I'm gonna use another burn another wrath and reroll. I don't. I want to you... at least come out as you getting. Can't reroll the complication. Yeah, I don't think you can reroll the complication. Can. So I'll just. It does the does the reroll button factor that in? Like it does. Yes, it does. Cool. Well then. Okay, so you on. you will hit him, but with a complication, and then if you could hit the uh, combat complication button for me. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> ah! Oh again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lord. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, how do I want to do this? All right, so his strength. Well, let's let me ask this. What is your strength? Uh, my strength is four. And your strength is four. Okay, so four plus three is seven, plus one ed. So go ahead and roll me a, a d six, and Can then I also shift six as well for damage. Yeah. Well, no, well, yeah, you can shift that six as well, yeah, so you could go up another ED. Cool, so... Um... Shit. Alrighty. All right, so you're up to eight damage, and he is rolling how much? Let's see. He's rolling one less, so he's rolling seven plus one uh, D6. Actually, did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. All right. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Uh, what is your resilience? Uh, my resilience is actually eight. Is eight. How did you... Is that including your armor? That is not including my armor. It is including... Uh, so I I stacked toughness, and mm -hmm. then I got a augmented viscera, and mm. uh, the heart of all. <clears throat> ah, yeah, it's the heart that's doing it. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you... Don't suffer any damage. Uh, however, uh, the way we'll flavor it is uh, the as his blade sweeps up and across you, uh, you turn and twist and swipe back with your own attempt. And in the process, uh, his sword cuts across your eyes, but not to do like permanent damage, but enough that yeah. you you know you have to you know blink and recoil and you know flail around a little bit wildly. Um, yes. But oh, with God. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, you actually tied. So neither of you are able to score a hit, or at least a damaging hit anyway. And okay. uh, the crowd cheers and, you know, people begin shouting advice, that sort of thing. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, well, okay. Well, I'm blind, so that's a problem. Yeah, it's I like now have to look up blind six. rules, which is good. I because... think it's a plus 60. Um, and by memory, I think it's... Problem. Uh, plus four difficulty to all sight related tasks. Which combat would be one of them? Yes. Oh, a little definitely. Bit. Maybe, maybe an interaction attack and pleading not to, to spare me. <laughs> oh yeah, it is plus four DN. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Dude, yep. Boy. Okay. Cool. No problem. His defense is what eleven now. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, this is interesting. Um, hmm. So I guess it's back. It's so it's top of the round. So it's back to me. Yeah, back to you. Yep. Okay. So now, obviously, because full defense isn't against a difficulty number, mm -hmm. would that be affected? Um, would that give him extra dice to hit me or something, or? I'm fine, whatever. Cause well, I'm let like... me uh, stare at full defense. And it's good we're doing this because it's it's refreshing me on everything. All right, so full defense, your speed is reduced by one half and you must make an initiative test. Every icon on the roll adds plus one to your defense until the end of your next turn. So basically you'd make an initiative test and then as many hits as you get, that's how much your defense goes up. 
Yes. Is that affected by blinding? Is, I guess, what I'm getting at? Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, I will say that we will subtract one hit from whatever you roll. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, I think I'm just going to full defense and get a total of four extra that, thingies and another complication. That, so. It, <laughs> Go ahead, hit that button again. Yeah. What have you done this time? <laughs> Drop weapon. <laughs> no. so let, me, let me paint the scene for those uh, you know who need uh, an extra little bit of help here. So, uh, Avon uh, starts to uh, pull back a little bit, uh, guard himself with his blade. Uh, however, in the process of doing so, he trips over himself and loses his balance for a moment. And he tries to stabilize himself with his sword, but he puts too much force into it. And the sword buries itself into the deck plate and you lose, like you stumble past it. Um, Shit. So good news, your defense does go up by three. Bad news, you no longer have a sword, so parry is gone. Yes. So it's so a net gain of two at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So defense nine now defense nine all right well let's uh let's see what he gets survey says come on with yes oh he gets a complication as well all right what's his complication uh he we're just gonna pull to reload another. his sword yeah we're just gonna My pull another one. an <laughs> click, inconvenient click. target at gm oh, discretion wow. oh that's I think awesome. I know how I want to do this. Uh, I'm going to roll a 1d4. Okay. Hey, uh, Seneca. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay. So what happens is the quartermaster comes in. Uh, he tries to put his full force into a swing. And uh, either because he's put too much force into it or because uh, even blinded, uh, Avon is able to, you know, step out of the way or, you know, block it with his hands, you know, kind of push the blade aside. Either way, what happens is the sword, uh, the momentum of it carries past Seneca, and I need to know what Seneca's defense is. Five. <laughs> then you are going to be hit by this, unfortunately. Yes, I am. Uh, so, uh, it is going to do a grand total of uh, seven damage. Does that do anything with your resilience? Uh, let's see. Uh, one second. It should be okay, right? No, because my, uh, my resilience is eight. Then you're fine. And, uh, you know, as the quartermaster does, he says, Oh, sorry, sorry. Put a little, little too much force into that one. I'm going to raise a hand and be ready to pull something if it happens again. <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, Avon, okay. uh, top of the round. Uh, you can go again, and you're no longer blinded. But you have no okay. sword. Okay. I think... What? Yeah, so he's got pretty high defense. Cool mm -hmm. shot, not great idea. No more wrath to rely on. Just the heart of the cards. Let's do it. That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah that was pretty, pretty nice. Good. And uh, let me double check his defense. Yeah, his defense is a six. So okay, you do hit him. That, I would like... I would like... To, oh, no, I can't shift for damage. Yeah, I can't shift, unfortunately. You would have need one more success to do so. So that's a... It's eight. It's eight. Which does nothing. Well, actually, uh, because his resilience is a seven, you do score one wound, which is all you needed. Oh. Oh. So, uh, oh, wait a second. Uh, you needed to pick up your blade, and that's part of your action. Oh, no, yes! Oh. So while he was distracted and apologizing to me, you could at least do that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we'll say as he's apologizing, because it's a good roll. So you, you're able to get the sword free, and as he turns back around to face you... Uh, you swipe up a vertical strike upwards, and you tear just the the very bare minimum of his shirt. And uh, Rary immediately so calls out for everyone to stop and says, "Ah, well, it appears the prince can duel after all. Though I question the whole sword in the deck, like whatever." <laughs> Case in port, uh, Menson. I believe you have to pay the man what he's due. Yes, <laughs> yes, victory party, everyone. Everyone get hyped. <laughs> And uh, Menson laughs and says, eh, maybe I was just feeling bad for the poor guy. And uh, he nods at one of his uh, his fellows, and sure enough, uh, two Eldari come out bearing uh, your singing spear. Awesome. Which one of you fellows wants this? I'm going to turn back to the wizards, the wizard squad. 
I, I'll get back to you on that. I've got some people I need to pay off. <laughs> so, uh, for shits and giggles, I'm going to say the literally the only people, unless you know, obviously one of you you guys did. The no. only people that put money on the prince was the prince himself and Rary. Yes. Yeah. So I guess uh, can you bet on yourself? No, yes. that seems illegal. But I mean, I mean. So I, I guess all the pot. So I guess Rary just gets the pot. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. It's almost like she's a farseer and could see this coming. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you know, as you guys, uh, you know, celebrate your victory, uh, the crowd begins to disperse, and uh, they do give you a few moments alone, uh, you know, to do whatever you would like. Uh, so what else is going as well, is he? Yeah. So, uh, out of character, does anyone in particular want the singing spear? Because I'm happy to take it if it doesn't really mesh with anyone else. I'm usually pretty out of the way, so I'm going to say no for me. I just got a new blade. Hey, I'm fine. Glaive it is. Very nice. There you go, buddy. Oh, I have to say, I am honestly impressed. Oh, I, I mean, I mean, it was, it was a, it was, it was a foretold conclusion. Obviously, <laughs> I was obviously going to win. Still rubbing my eyes from being blinded, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, 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 you might want to get something for that yeah yeah no sure oh I, See, I don't know this is why i wear a faceplate you know that is a good idea so but anyway i have to go get a suit tailored oh and, and i guess i, I lose will, my booze and i will go booze. start adding a singing spear to my inventory mm-hmm. so uh out of curiosity what kind of armor are you after in particular uh, so what I'm actually trying to do is make a custom piece of armor, which I think I'm not really after it for the armor value, mm-hmm. but I would like to weave in my my uh, my prismatic mirror, which is a prism-like lens mirror shard. Um, staring at it, one's own reflection causes vivid hallucinations. It's a trinket, but I would like to somehow either display that over the armor using holograms or... You, like with a hollow field or something. Or... I think the closest thing that I, I have reference for, or at least that has been statted so far, um, is the Shimmer Shield. Now, the problem with the Shimmer Shield is that it's a unique item, and you just okay. want a unique item. Yeah. Um, I'll say this. Uh, if you win one more contest, then I will give you a Shimmer Shield, but I'm going to limit it to be like one contest per session. So yes, you don't no, like fine. spam the quartermaster till you win or lose, kind of a thing. No, that's fair. Absolutely, sounds good. All right. Great. So, uh, with that excitement out of the way, uh, you know, some more time passes, and eventually, all of you are called up to the bridge. And I will move us on to the bridge. So, uh, waiting for you is, of course, the farseer. And uh, she looks noticeably annoyed, uh, almost as if someone uh, took a crap in her cereal kind of a thing. And uh, she says, well, uh, thank you for showing up on order. And Senrian, no, you still cannot sit on my lap. Uh, <laughs> long story short, gentlemen, uh, we're headed to Forlone, one of the battlefields where our kin and the Monkai are warring. And let me put that in chat so you uh, know how to spell it. Uh, long, uh, no, I already said that. Uh, in Exarch of the Howling Banshees, uh, Kelara fell to overwhelming forces while covering the retreat of our own, uh, units. The Monkai and their arrogance, and she noticeably kind of cracks th- the knuckles of one of her fists, uh, took Kelara's remains back to one of their bunk- bunkers as a trophy. I don't think I have to say this, but I will anyways. We cannot allow these hairless apes to possess a set of Exarch armor, much less any of the spirit stones it contains. So you four are going to be going on foot into the bunker itself, while my crew and I provide a distraction elsewhere. This will allow you to slip into the bunker, retrieve the armor, and escape before the humans catch on. Unfortunately, and the reason we can't just web portal in, 
They've warded their bunkers using their hexagramic wards, and unfortunately we're not able to get a secure connection one way in or one way out. So no grand escapes like last time, unfortunately. But uh, any uh, questions? Gonna... Uh, how much uh, resistance are we expecting to meet? What sort of units do they have deployed on the ground? Well, uh, most of it's uh, whatever, what do they call those things? Oh yes, they call them the Imperial Guardsmen. I call them hairless apes in green armor. Useless green armor. Uh, I can't tell you what's actually in the bunker itself, but my guess is either they know what they have and they're, there's quite a lot facing you, or they have no idea the importance of this item and they're guarding it pretty shittily. Any psychers? Not that we're aware of, but again, their barracks are warded, so anything's possible. Uh, any armor defending them? Yep, say that again? Any armor, like tanks stuff that we can oh. see from... Uh, there will be a few tanks uh, in the encampment, but that is going to be my job and the, my crew's job to make sure that none of that runs into you. Oh, fantastic. All right. Get in, kill some uh, mortals, get out. Indeed. Seems to be what you're suited for. Simple, really, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling good this about time this. time we don't have to worry about them turning into demons. But you uh, well, actually, find, I wouldn't rule that out. <laughs> you'd best find a piece of foliage somewhere and knock on it at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Uh, some more time passes, and uh, once you you know do your quick little jump through the webway, uh, you see on the view screen uh, that the planet of Forlone is like any other in the Dark Imperium. That is to say that it's basically another war-torn world host to a meaningless, never-ending battle of survival. Uh, interestingly, what you note is that the fighting extends to space as well, where you do see several Eldari vessels... Uh, squaring off against a few belonging to the Imperial Navy. Uh, however, thanks to the hollow fields of the Yotara, you're able to slip, uh, slip past unnoticed. And Our you Steve. notice... Oh, go ahead. Why are we fighting for this world? Uh, well, as uh, you know, the ship dives down to the atmosphere, uh, Rary uh, answers. Well, uh, I think originally uh, we had discovered a necron encampment and we were just trying to cleanse the world and then you know the the monkai being monkai decided no we want to research the necron you know as they're as they're want to do yes yeah so they are smelly and stupid you know we we can't let them just research necrons willy-nilly because they'll just reactivate them and then everybody's shit hits the fan so we need to be prepared for tomb structures Hopefully it has not gotten that bad. Indeed. One, one would think they would stop doing the digging to do the fighting. Well, you have to remember, these are Monkai. They, uh, they're not the brightest bunch. But, speaking of brightest bunch, uh, she points at the view screen where you see that you are very high above the main Imperial encampment. Uh, it is a series of bunkers, tents, uh, little uh, erected structures that either cover armor, cover places where people meet, things of that nature. Uh, but interestingly, one of the airlocks to the bridge, uh, we'll say this one over here to the left, uh, it opens up and uh, there's the whispering, or sort of the, not the whispering, but the flurry of wind as the pressure equalizes. And uh, Rary points to the airlock and says, how are you good at, uh, how good are you all at hot drops? Oh, yeah, not again. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hot drops are Tierval's favored method of coming into battle, so. I right. suppose you're not going to get me much of a choice, so. I mean, granted, we usually do it on jet bikes, but. Well, best I could give you is a parachute. I hate hot drops. Oh, it'll be fun. You'll be great. Don't worry about it. I think you're stressing too much. Only one way to get through this. Mm hmm. Oh, Straight can I, uh, down at speed! Uh, just in case I do crash, uh, can I have that spirit stone back just to see if I can <laughs> figure out what it's about before I go? Wait, I what? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he jumps before handing it back. 
All right, so the way this will work mechanically is that it's going to be an athletics difficulty four. Now, failure means doesn't mean like failure, failure. It just means that you maybe will take some stress damage or wound damage, you know, or you know maybe a maybe a piece of equipment will fail. You never know. Uh, before we before we do that, do, are we supposed to get uh, camp campaign cards? Yes, thank you. I knew we were forgetting something. Uh, so yeah, let me pull up the campaign cards. Uh, yes, uh, if each of you could roll me a 1d55. Okay, so Seneca, you get number 28. So that's, that's a nice card. But I don't have to use it right now. All right, there is Seneca's uh, bishop. You've rolled a 33, which means you get uh, this card. All right, and then Asenrian, 24. <laughs> uh, that'll be handy. Uh, Asenrian, you get uh, this one. And oh, even a ten. Oh well, uh, that's uh, that's actually pretty nice. Actually, you might want to use that right away. I I think I I, I have a feeling. <laughs> there you go, tears of Isha. Oh, uh, nice. No, I'm not going to use that right away. I don't think. I will. I thought it was going to be the the romance one. <laughs> Oh, the uh, can love bloom on the battlefield one. Yeah, that was going to be fun. <laughs> the perils of the warp. Now it gets, it's just the theme for his enemy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, uh, unless anyone wants to spend uh, their campaign cards, let's go ahead and get that roll out of the way. So again, it is a difficulty four uh, athletics check. Oh, boy. All um, right, so that's a three from Seneca. And I can't reroll my red die, so I'm gonna. Before, before anyone else it. rolls, I was gonna say, do you want me to spend the tears of Isha thing to reduce the no? Penalty? It's a little early for that. Yeah, yeah I, I would say rolls have already happened. Okay. Well, apparently the prince is doing fine. Yeah, Can I love he it. Shift to grab me before I hit the ground a little too hard. Well, he's <laughs> also got to deal with glaive. That's true. Um, okay, oh, so deal with all of us. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna wreck this. He does, however, have three ships. Oh, fudge! Nice. So, here's what I'll, here's what I'll say. Uh, if you shift uh, two of those sixes, I will allow you to catch both Glaive and Seneca. Uh, however, as Senrian, while you do succeed, oh, there is going to be a complication here. And... I told you I hated Hunt. Hunt oh. Yo. <laughs> so, uh, narratively, what happens is you all, you know, secure your parachutes, jump out of the ship... And uh, begin falling through the air towards the Imperial encampment. And as you fall, uh, Rary's ship moves around and swoops lower and then just begins firing upon the encampment. And immediately the Imperial Guard begins to shift and otherwise start to try and deal with the uh, incoming aerial attack. Uh, which thankfully distracts them from you all as your parachutes deploy and you begin swooping towards the bunker that you have been told to look into. Now, uh, the good news is that when you land, uh, at least for three of you, uh, you do not end up attracting any attention. However, uh, Asenrian, you overshoot the landing area, and you land in the middle of a canteen, where a total of four Imperial Guardsmen sort of just blink in, you know, half mid-motion eating as you land before them. <laughs> In a shitty, shitty, low gothic, uh, I go, so up, and stop firing in there. <laughs> and we are going to have a quick little scene of combat on the generic combat screen. All right, so uh, let's see. A Senrian's token. Oh, okay. you already uh, beat me to it. I, I go. Uh, uh, let's see. All right, and I did say four Imperial Guardsmen. Uh, for sake of, uh, sake of argument, we'll just treat them like a mob. Because uh, I think it's best to treat, you know, fodder like this as a mob. And yeah, uh, you can go first, Asenrian. So what does uh, them being a mob mean? So, uh, and of course, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, the good news is that them being a mob means that if you do any wounds to them or any shock, 
that 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 char that character dies. So even if you do just one point of damage, you get rid of one of them. Um, uh, I, see. I see. The benefit of them being in a mob is that because there's four of them, they get half their size, so two to their dice rolls. Additionally, they activate as one group. Uh huh. So they go all at once. All right. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll rush in, in there and be like, "I'm so so much bigger than them, you know." Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just make my blade sing. Let's go. Alrighty. So, uh, uh, difficulty here is a two. Their defense isn't great. I, so, how do I multi attack? Uh, you don't question. have to. You don't have to because you're hitting them mobs. all at once as a mob. Because yeah, they're a mob, so they count as like a single thing. Oh, yes, and if I have my notes correctly, I believe it's for every two successes you get above the mark, it's one additional target. Yes. All right. All right, so their defense is a two, which means you are hitting two of them. So uh, go ahead and roll me some damage. And we'll see. Yeah, they're dead. So uh, you rush forward, and before uh, two of them can react, you literally cut off their heads, and the blood begins to spurt from their necks as they are no longer living. Uh, however, the two remaining Imperial Guardsmen, uh, one of them is going to hold up, or at least rush for his last gun, while the other one is going to pull out a frag grenade. So we'll resolve the last gun first. Uh, I don't believe your defense is a three, no. is it? My defense is a six. Then you're fine. The... It's fine. It's fine on me, so it's a four. Yeah, I have plus two four melee. Yeah. So uh, yeah, last gun. The flashlight you're fine. does what the flashlight does best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know they're Imperial Guardsmen, so he doesn't really realize how bad is what he's about to do, but. He does throw a frag grenade. Oh, boy. So, yeah. I do need to know, what again is your defense? A six? Uh, well, a six is against melee, so a four. A four. Against, and, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shift two of those sixes, then, for some extra damage. Yep. All right. So, uh... Oh, God. So, uh... <laughs> Oh, That's on. uh. Wait, wait, wait! No, he's throwing a he's throwing a grenade, isn't there? A scatter thing, the thing can bounce and stuff like that. If uh, he, if he uh, misses, if he... yes. Oh, I see. Uh, um, I thought he was. I thought he was any. No matter what. Nah, it's uh, it's if you miss, that's when you scatter. Um. So oh, good news, he does blow up his buddy and himself in the process. The bad news is you have to deal with sixteen damage. Yeah. 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 Oh, gosh. I'm going I'm, I'm to soak. All right. So remember, <laughs> that is automatically uh, oh, one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, boy. I'm the, I'm the ref. Mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, boy. All right. All right. So take a uh, free shock and uh, we, we said what? Uh, I was supposed eight. to take seven. So four wounds. Four wounds. Ouch. Ow. Oh, gosh. So the rest of you, uh, you hear this explosion and uh, you look over and you see coming towards you a very annoyed and very injured looking Asenrian. <laughs> what happened you to you? Did you step back. on a landmine? <laughs> uh, don't you hear the explosion? I'll uh, go ahead and start patching them up. Okay. So, uh, because this is way. not a regroup, uh, your Medicaid check will only recover one wound. That's fine. Let's see how well this goes. No, That's well, uh, I believe the difficulty... Well, he is heavily injured, so it's you can't serious. shift, unfortunately. Yeah. But, hey, that's a wound back. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. I would like my uh, stone back now. <laughs> I think that you've might. lost the right... <laughs> Look oh, it, I, it's in the guts of the guys over there. <laughs> Roll deception, please. <laughs> I want to see if I actually go rifling through dude's organs. Uh, <laughs> you should actually. It'd be great. Yeah, I would say... Uh... Ah! Ah, glory! <laughs> yeah, he does get oh, a well, glory. Definitely worth it. Uh, are they? Insight. Oh! <laughs> wow. You will leave them. Wow. 
You believe him. Amazing. Him. Yeah, you believe him implicitly. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, okay, good, good. And just start immediately hawking through. Yeah, the I'm gonna, I, as he passes by me, I'm going to grab his cloak and just stop him in his track. <laughs> I am joking. Oh, right. Tell. And I'll just give you your stone back. Nice. Oh, thank you. Right. I mean, I, I knew I was also joking, of course. I imagine that they would come running to the sound of an explosion from inside of their cantina. <laughs> yes, you do hear uh, in the distance there is shouting, and uh, your keen Eldari ears do pick up the fact that there are people headed in your direction. Uh, however, if you maybe dive into the bunker very quickly, you might be able to miss them entirely. Let's let's give it a go. I'm going to cast Quickening on us real quick. All right. The Apparel. expedite that further. God help me, I really don't want a barrels. <laughs> All right, uh, quick name. Well, that is, uh, wow. That's, yeah, that's not, well, well, hold on, you're rolling dice. four wrath die, yeah. I have, oh, I still have, okay, delete all but one of those. <laughs> well, you do get a point of glory. Because <laughs> uh, I, well, I forgot. Was, to, that was from I, back when you were. That was on from the... the black ship. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's still going to be uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine successes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't need to increase the radius to ten meters, so I'm not going to shift that. Uh, I would, however, like to make a shift to see if we can do a narrative and see if we can. Uh, get in there before any doors get shut on the bunker. Yeah, I'd say that uh, shifting will get you that, and you know, you do get a point of glory, because one of those wrath die is, a, I'll give you the uh, the glory one, so yeah, you're up to two glory. Awesome. Oh, if I can make a, a slight comment regarding the uh, grenade in my face. Yeah, Apparently, sure. I get to anyone that is affected by uh, a blast up to a large size, which is uh, medium for the Which is, is medium, yep. Yeah. Uh, they get to attempt a full defense, and if I manage to get higher or equal to the attack, I, it's like I ducked for cover. Okay. Well, good and to know. Which means I wouldn't take actual, actual damage. Okay. It's, it hits me, but I, I get a chance to, you know, jump behind a table or something. I gotcha, and, I gotcha. Uh, take a, uh, just because, you know, it's it's my fault for not doing it right, take a, uh, take a wound back, so you're at 5 out of 7, I believe, now. Okay. Which Thank takes you, you above... Badly wounded. Yeah, which is mm -hmm. definitely beneficial. Yep. So yeah, I don't even know how I do a full defense. I was like, damn, there's no way to dodge a grenade. God damn it. Yeah. Well, it's good to know because, as you probably can guess, the grenades are what's going to hurt you guys here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, because you have not only quickened, but because you have shifted for narrative declara declaration. Uh, I'm going to say that you do indeed uh, find your way into the bunker before the bunker door hermetically seals behind you. Um, so, uh, when you take a look inside, what you're seeing is what essentially is an antechamber. Uh, of course, it's not very well kept, and there are two terminals, uh, and at the far end there is a door. Uh, but between you and the door, and between you and the terminals, are two servitors. Uh, now important is that these two servitors both have what appear to be heavy bolters, rather than the traditional... Uh, sort of servo claw and uh, they do not appear to have noticed you or at least cared that you're here uh, question Delphi. since we passed the closing door how thick is it uh, it is thick enough that unless you have a fusion gun you're not getting through it I have a fusion hand how big is it <laughs> All right, uh, let's see, because I believe it has the melt of quality, does it not? Yeah, it's basically the equivalent of a, like a sun-powered melt again. Mm -hmm. Let me just so double I, check. I can make a 10-meter tunnel, and if I shift uh, sixes, I can make 10-meter extra per shift. Gotcha. Da -da 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 so it's just basically is the door 10 meters or thicker? Yes, Meaning you could burn through it if need be. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Just, you know, we, you said how it's sealed, so I'm like, um, you know, exit strategies. Yeah, so, you know. All right. So, you know. so, I guess the question... So, we can just see the servitors, there doesn't seem to be anyone else? 
No, there do not appear to be any other living or really non-living individuals in this area. It's just the two servitors. Alrighty. I'd like to make an awareness before anything else sure. happens, just to look. This is D&D. Cool. This is suspicious. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you would be able to tell uh, with that four that uh, there does appear to be some sort of security system set up. And the reason you're able to see that is because with your keen Eldar eyes, uh, you see that there is a laser trip tripwire grid right in front of you. Now, it is something you could potentially, you know, acrobatics your way through, um, but anyone tripping the tripwire probably activates these servitors. Well, I may have a way to deal with that. Uh, yeah, I've got a way as well. Because I'm, I'm aware that right these now. things are essentially Monkai that they've just sort of bolted computers onto. Mm -hmm. Which means that they're mostly machine, but technically speaking, they're still living creatures. Which means this might work. And I'm going to try and compel one of the servitors and just send a command telling it to shut down. Okay. And uh, may what or is... may not work. Depends yeah, whether say, they're more yeah, computer than person. Uh, what uh, What am I giving you as a DN then? I think Reagan? he has to do a DN five. DN yeah. five. Yeah, base okay. DN five for the power. Uh, it's I implant a simple command in the mind of a nearby creature. It has to be short, obvious, but can otherwise overcome the creature's own interests or base instincts. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can't it command it to do something it's simply incapable of doing. And the target creature has to pass a willpower test of four or obey the compel. I'm going to say that with a willpower of one, it ain't doing uh, any resistance. Okay. So well, just don't pay us. Get... Yeah. So let's hope I get the psychic mastery test. Don't peril. Hey, I get a money glory. And, and yeah, well, five, let's see, five... Six. Yeah, so I can shift one of those sixes to add an extra difficulty number. So now it has to pass a willpower test of five. So what is the command you're giving, just so we're all on the same page? Are you telling it to shut down, or are you telling yep. it to deactivate the security system? Just shut down. Okay. So, uh, you cast your psychic juju, and uh, the servitor will say, servitor here on the left, uh, beeps, words... And uh, otherwise, just sort of crumples on the spot as it deactivates. Excellent. Now let's try with the other one. Uh, just uh, before you do that, in case it doesn't work on the second one, and because I think that beside activating them, that grid probably you know, will alarm anyone that we, we're here, I could deactivate the grid for one minute, allowing us to go through the room. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. I'll. So, do you want to do that before or after I turn this next one off? I just wanted to say that this was also an option, so please cool. feel free. All right, I'll go try the same thing on the other servitor. Okay. Another point of glory. Nice. Impressive. Yeah. So you guys are up to four at the moment, and yeah, uh, that one too deactivates. All right. oh, good Does the grid deactivate? Uh, no, the grid remains as is. I'll uh, try the jam, uh, jam mechanism, which is also a uh, psychic power, mm -hmm. and I can uh, basically temp cause a uh, mechanism and machines to temporarily cease to function for one minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, just don't perils. Yeah, right. Please don't. <laughs> you had one oh. job. One job. <laughs> That's a barrel effect. <laughs> All right. I don't understand. Glaive was doing fine. Oh dear. Blood oh, rain. Oh dear. So, blood rain. Oh a my hot gosh. and sticky. <laughs> a hot and sticky blood rain begins to fall within an eight meter radius centered on the psyker. So, pretty much this entire this... room and you guys. Well, well to be fair, to be fair, fair, only the prince has his skin exposed. Well, here's the thing. It says that any creature whose flesh is touched by this blood must make a successful willpower test DN7 or become frenzied. Only Which one. we have disadvantage on. 
part. <laughs> well, as, as Ken, it only underprints as the flesh exposed. Yeah, so, uh, how you doing? And the, and the, and the servitors the are shut down, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, thankfully, we did that first. Additionally, the servitors are closest to each uh, other rather than us, so. Mm-hmm. All right. Go mad. Well, they, you know. So, uh, Avon, I unfortunately yes. need you to immediately attempt to kill the closest being using melee attacks if possible. Oh, that's that, me. is, that is actually you, Asenrian. Yep. So, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, okay. I'm assuming I don't have a chance to react before he stabs. No, unfortunately. Uh, but we guess we're going to go into structured so, combat after you make this first attack. How... Oh, yeah, so you guys have to basically leadership test me out of this, and if none of you—well, I was thinking of just using compel again and just saying stand still. I was going to intervene you in mine. So it's more around, yeah. so that might stop me for an action, but it doesn't stop the effects. Yeah. Uh, no, I, we we just need to keep you until it runs out. Sort of <laughs> held there for three rounds. Yeah. Okay. Well. I guess I... No, I'd be lame if I used my... I don't know. No, I'll just... I'll just... Do it fair. It's gonna be the shock whip. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh dear. Good grief. Uh, Asenrian, what is your defense? Six. I'm going to shift two of those into damage. Okay. Ouch. Um, so that is then... Three ED. Um... So also face masks not, use sorry, them this, people. This yeah. also has penetration. Just so it doesn't know. matter to, doesn't to matter me. The, the okay, good. Yeah, good, good. And uh, ha ah, zero damage. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, a little bit it's of so damage. Much. Oh, twelve total. Okay. Oh fudge. Ouch. Yeah. No, that hurts. Uh, I'm gonna soak. Okay. D- does Does anyone have leadership? Please, just oh, leadership. Oh, yeah. Can't soak for shit. <laughs> Ah, uh, so I should have taken three damage. I soaked one, so I take two. I'm back at three wounds, guys. Woo! Uh, ah. How many wounds did you end up taking? Two. Then you are also suffering two additional shock because it has agonizing. Oh, God. My leadership's a five. Does anybody have better leadership than that? I think it's just a DN. Oh, I don't actually know. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Actually, the DN is made is based off whatever did it to me. So uh, the same thing. let's see, frenzy. Da, 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 to do so, uh, you make a willpower test with a DN of three at the start of the character's turn. Okay. So I would say leadership of a DN three would do the the same thing. I'm gonna okay. step in and try to talk him down then. Let's see if we can't do something there. Yep, go for it. Uh, that, that, that is a complication. Three, but with a complication. Oh, God. <laughs> so we talked him down at least, but let's see what the combat complication for this is. Yeah. Go ahead and push that button. Uh, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> my whip! <laughs> no. So I just fire my shuriken pistol wide apparently unload everything in it mm-hmm. and that snaps his attention to it and just Avon, stop yeah oh yeah stop. oh hey Ascendrin oh you don't look great uh, yeah I'm, I'm fine and I've already <laughs> patched him up so I can't help him anymore this scene so. uh, anyway okay, let's well... get out of this blood rain cause this is starting to get heavy well, we only have 50 seconds left, so we should run across the room. Mm. Ah. <laughs> All right, mm. I, uh, I just sprint to the other side. Uh, doors. Who does doors? Quietly, preferably. Not me. <laughs> I, okay, thought you, well, I thought you would have taken guy. All right, take it is. Oh, okay. F- <laughs> wow. <laughs> So here's what happens. Uh, you get the door open, but that complication is, is as that door opens, uh, alarms begin to sound. Look, you know, it's it's more of an art than a science. You suck. <laughs> I shield is Henry and Glaive's going yeah. to sort of take the charge. Oh. 
All right, so let me uh, let me get you guys uh, in turn order before you go any further because uh, this could matter. I am uh, so dead. Add. I'm if, I take, if I take another grenade, if I take another grenade, I just can't soak anything. Um, um, we started off really well. Uh, yeah, well, uh, that how many complications did, did we get? Like, oh, I, feel, I feel like it's like se- no, no, no. It's like seven at least. Yeah, it is about seven, yeah. I got, like, two in that combat alone. Yeah, I got, I got two, like, the grenade in my face and then the blood rain. I will say, as a point of order, the blood rain is still on your clothes, so I don't know if you found out a innovative way to throw it at the guardsmen. Hmm. That's, a, that's a thought. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had my blades out. Is there blood rain on my blades? Uh-huh. There's a lot of it. Oh, blood whip yeah. rain. Yup. Uh, yeah. But on that note, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm going to say I mean, it is main your problem guys' is turn first. The only method I can think of to get the blood on them is by like wiping it on the singing spear and throwing that, and that will just kill them. <laughs> yeah, that was valid. But he's mm-hmm. also frenzied in his last moments. Yeah, in his really last angry. moments, yeah. But yeah, it's whichever one of you would like to go first. And since we are in combat, remember you can only move up to your speed unless you choose to run. Cool. Uh, well, I think I might... Hang on, I just need to double check. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't move. So... So the Singing Spear is has Assault and you can throw it. Can I use the Assault thing as I'm throwing it? Like, run and throw? Hmm. Um... I would say you could, just keep in mind that you increase the attack's difficulty by two. Hmm. For running. Uh, let me just double check what my speed is. Should be pretty good, yeah. Where is speed? Uh, well, if hey, you're hey. in Eldar, I think your speed is either 7 or 8. I think it's 8. It's under combat, I think. Yeah, it's uh, yes, under it combat, is. under your resilience. Yeah, I was looking in the wrong place. Mm, yep, 8 for me. Yeah, I think that'll get us get us in range. Okay. So, leapfrog off me four. And yeah, you, you know what? Let, let's not get further than that for now. Okay. Yeah, because. So uh... To sort of so describe what you're seeing. Cover. Yeah, I'll say to sort of describe what you're seeing. So these yellow sort of barricades are providing half cover. Uh, but to your left, uh, you see four Imperial Guardsmen uh, at combat readiness because the alarms went off. To your right, you see another group of Imperial Guardsmen rushing from their bunks, also ready for combat. Uh, ahead of you, there are two pillars uh, that go into the ceiling. And then you can just make out far, farther in to the left, uh, around what appears to be a kitchen area or a, a mini canteen, uh, there are another four guardsmen uh, getting ready and heading in your direction. Hmm. All right, well, I'll finish my movement mm-hmm. and end up behind that barricade. Okay. And mm, no, he's three meters away, not two, so I can't just stab him over the top of the barricade with a spear. You can so always use I'll, a fireball or whatever the equivalent psychic power would be. Eh, uh, didn't take that, unfortunately. Uh, you got smite, though, don't you? Yes, I do. Smite is uh, smite is a mortal wound, and uh, True. they are a mob, so you would at least kill one. Yep, so, yeah, let's do that. So I'll cast Smite on... Well, I think it just has to be the nearest guardsman. Mm-hmm. Don't peril. <laughs> yeah, say don't peril, and while you're doing that, I'm going to look up something on a hunch, because I believe it can affect additional targets. Uh, I, think it's I mean, that's how it works on tabletop, but... Yes, yes, it does. Let me double-check how multi... Multi-target, works. yes. So, same way. Uh, I believe if you roll uh, two above the DN... Um, you can affect an additional target. 
Which is good, because the DN is the target's defense. Which is all of a two. Nice. Uh, let's go back to smite. So, targeting that closest guardsman to the left to begin with. Mm hmm. Okay, good. Uh, That's, uh. Six, you I could will three. shift those two glory to uh, fetch two other guardsmen. Alright. So, uh, you don't even need to roll because the minimum damage here is one. Uh, so, you lash out with your mind as you. Uh, take cover behind the little barricade, and three of the guardsmen immediately go down. Just dead. Like, completely erased from existence. Um, now, uh, I will say, you can spend a point of glory so that one somebody else can go, but otherwise uh, it will be the guardsmen's sound. turn. We've got four glories, that's not a bad idea. That does sound good. I, think... I missed all of that. Uh, basically, you could use your glory here so that someone else could go. Um, otherwise it's going to be the Guardsman's turn. How many guys left can you see, Glaive? What, there's like 12 or something, is there? Maybe there. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did we lose Bishop? He can't hear anything. He's deaf. Rip. Oh, well. Well, I... Mm -hmm. Alright, well. What do you... Seneca, what do you have? What, what's your powers again? I always forget. I have Quickening and then Embolden slash inner, Innervate. So I can slow people down, I can mm -hmm. weaken people, I can strengthen us, or I can Quicken it. I mean, I think uh, Embolden slash Horrify, or whatever it is, uh, would be innervate. good. Which it, oh, Innervate oh. takes away one uh, ED from everybody within the, the small blast radius. Uh, it's actually not. No, it's super not, helpful for God's It's not mind. great until it's big stuff. Things with multiple ED. No, okay. but I think uh, Asenrian does have uh, at least because he used the power before. Uh, he does I, have some form of lance. My good self pity. I, I think, I kind of uh, look. I kind of think he should run up and just yeah, molten beam something, but. If you don't feel comfortable, that's understandable. <laughs> if I take a grenade, a grenade to the face, I'm gonna die. Just saying. I mean, it's um, but I'm okay. I'm okay taking the initiative and getting in there. But I'm, I need to check on one of the powers because my power, um, I can use the uh, good, good of flame. Yeah, do that. Uh, which that's is a blast, good. but the, a medium blast only affects up to three targets. So I can shift it, but I need a, yeah. I need a high. Uh, high success rate to shift it to a large blast. Uh, I'm trying to check what the large is. Uh... It will be, it will be harder because you're wounded as well. So their defense will effectively be higher, I think. Oh, but, is it? Yeah, but I still think it's probably a good idea, just because. Like... Uh, you wanted to know how much an area large can affect. Yes, I, I know med uh, like small is one, medium is three, I, I can't remember. Large, large is five. Okay. Well, if you guys want me to try, I'll, I'll do that. I'll spend, one of, I'll spend my glory. Yeah, do it. Run in and just burn. I think we should uh, scare the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. I'll move here. I see a bunch of people on my right, so I'll just blast over there. Alrighty. Blast Don't perils. <laughs> yeah, and right. the, the range on Smite is ridiculous. Oh, it's good. You had uh, one. Well, uh, wait, no. Oh no, no, wait. Why am I rolling two <laughs> two wrath die? That's a good point. You should not be rolling uh, two wrath die. That that's the, because the, it's the same thing I did. Uh, yeah, I had a bonus wrath because of the black ship. So that that uh, that wrath is not there. That uh, ruin is not there. Uh, here's what I'll say. Uh, you can <laughs> either re-roll. Or you can succeed with those eight successes and thus hit all of them, but you have the complication. That's not what we did earlier when that happened. We just kept the first one. I'm uh, being mean is what I'm trying to say here. He's I'm being mean. DM rolls. <laughs> I'm already right. gets my guts just already. Take the comp. I don't think the comp's going to be that bad. Just, just, just it's take a the psychic power. It's another perils. Take the perils. Yeah, I think I, 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 that's what I'm saying. I think take the perils. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Like, most of them are fine, usually. Uh, I will three I'll, times I'll, I'll take famous last words for 20. Yeah. yeah. 
I, I was three times on that table, and every time I got fucked. What's the worst that could happen? We said I think it's a demonic incursion. I, no, it'll in this be world. I think it'll be like uh, if it if it's one that does shock, it could actually kill everyone, kill the guardsmen for us as well. So that could be good. Well, I'm just, they're all gonna die. I, I'm shifting to a large area, mm -hmm. and I do yeah. a shit ton of damage. That's fourteen plus two ED. So that's yeah, gonna was... jellify all of them. So. Yeah. So sure, I'll take the pill. All right. All righty. A rolling mist. Okay, a clammy no, mist rolls up from bad. the ground, surrounding the Psyker for a radius of 25 meters. So Amazing. Pretty much the entire room. Go ahead and uh, give you that aura. Uh, the mist obscures vision and distorts sounds with weird echoes. All targets inside the mist add two to their defense against ranged attacks. Well, look at that. That was That's a good amazing. effect. Andy. I think we lost Bishop again. And so if there are five guards on my right, I only see four, but if there are five, they're all... They're all dead. They are, they are no longer in this world. All right, and I'll, I'll move the rest of my movement behind the lady. All righty. That so, is definitely the right thing to do. Yeah, that, that, that actually works out very well for you. Uh, how long does this last? For one round, okay. Um, which is going to be important, because the remaining guardsmen of the first group uh, over here to the left is going to pull out a grenade and what is the range on this I think uh, it's a strength 12 strength. so let me check range here i think he'll he's got it yeah he's got it uh he's just gonna throw it actually he's gonna throw it here uh right above where aven is so All we right. get to do a full defense mm -hmm. so How does that work? You lose you next turn as well so it's not great but if you're gonna die definitely do it <laughs> right well i have to i have to succeed on this task first so even yeah, what is true. your defense uh my defense is uh nine at the moment with the smoke okay but so yeah. all right he failed which means it scatters uh so let's let me go through scatter and this is also a good opportunity to go over scatter all right so uh first i'm gonna roll 1d6 to see which direction it goes uh, it goes towards your party to the left, oh, no. and it goes a grand total. No, hey, no, it doesn't go to the left. It's going to go to the right. Twelve. Because oh, you're the, right because it's the direction of the attack. Yep. So, but what there's happened? a wall. There's a wall. So, uh, so what'll happen is uh, he throws the grenade, and it goes over here to the left. Well, his left, your right, and explodes harmlessly. Oh, okay. Not ah, PTSD. Yeah. Pretty nice. All right. Well, that's all of one mob done. Uh, the other mob is not going to act because I'm saving ruin. So it is your guys' turn again. All righty. Um, I can go right. Do you have go. anything that you're burning to do? I can smite some dudes. You're probably more useful than me right now. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, all right. Well, I mean, don't give yourself a hard time, man. Oh, no, I'm not. I just, I'm acknowledging that I'm not the most combat-oriented character in our party. Well, I mean, I may as well cast another smite since it went so well the last time. Uh, I was gonna move. I will move also, Claire of Asenrian, though, just in case perils happen. Well, it, is, it does have to be Avon or Seneca before yeah. you can move again. Oh, all right, uh, you haven't uh, gone this round yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. right, um, Avon, again, you rush forward, uh, you see the two aforementioned columns, you see the cantina and bar area, and yeah. Yeah. Also, see four Imperial Guardsmen. So. Oh no. It's annoying. I think I'm actually going to use my pistol and spend a reload because I'm just out of range with the whip. Okay. Um. So that gives me two extra die, and then I have to actively go and reload my pistol later. No, well, their defense is still just a two, and yeah, that's. No, that's wrong. That is wrong. That is completely wrong. That's my weapon skill. That's the melee version. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. The roll broke the template. That is right. Okay. Uh, okay. You can shift one, so you can't hit two of them. Cool. Yep, no. um, I'm going for this mob up here. Okay. Obviously. So two of them go poof. Yep. As uh, your shurikens uh, cut into their bellies and spill their guts. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I just have to put them back on the uh, the turn order. All right, so yeah, uh, Avon, you do good work. Uh, unless you'd like to spend some glory, I'm going to say it is now the mob that has not acted yet. I reckon go, yeah. 
get in here and start smoting. Yeah, I'll go ahead. So I'll burn my glory for that. Alrighty. So. Yeah. Get, get rid of that. Yeah, I gotcha. Alright. So I'll step up and I'll throw a smite at the mob. Alrighty, go for it. So let us see. Character sheet. Powers. And smite that. Hey, Blinded no perils. perils. And, uh, yeah, I think you got him. So that's two more guardsmen down. Woo. Nice. Which means, uh, fresh turn, or fresh round, so, uh, mist goes away, unfortunately. Uh, but, uh, the remaining guardsman, uh, kind of holds up his hand and says, ah, Don't kill me, man. I, uh, just, look, I'll tell you what you want or not. Just don't, don't do any of that, whatever you did to them. <laughs> oh, go Sounds they good, will... friends. Yes, uh, do tell us all you know. I'm going to roll persuasion. Uh, do you I'm speak my... low gothic is the thing, though. Ah. Well, uh, sure. so the way it works is uh, your difficulty is plus two because he's a uh, he's a monkai. But with yeah. a seven, you beat it easy. And you can actually shift two of those things into glory. No. Or no, one of them no, already is a glory. So you could shift one into glory. I would like to shift, so I can shift for usually like speed, success. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, and glory. So, I, what do you? What's more important, guys? Do you think getting all this info out of him quickly or getting extra info is better? Well, uh, there, there was an alarm. Basically, yeah. we we'll want to know what direction to go in to get the thing. And what's yeah. guard, what's guarding it? Because there's an alarm going on, so the faster we do it, the better. Okay. Hmm. I think I, yeah, I want to know what's guarding it. We need to know the direction, but we also need to be there quickly. But I think we can make up for quickness with, uh, with Seneca's, uh, quicken. Yeah. So I think I'm going to ask, yeah, uh, uh, who's guarding it? How many, how many of you? And, uh, anything else that we need to know? Uh, uh, well, uh, you're lucky the, the Commissar is out on her rounds at the moment, so if you're quick, you probably won't run into her, but, uh, it's over there, uh, and he points to the north, where I think you should be able to see a door. Mm -hmm. Um, yep, just. and, uh, he says, look, uh, the access code, you know, it's not standard operating procedure, but man, do you know how hard it is to remember a five-digit code? Extremely easy. Quite easy. Uh, we, we can live as long as we do. Us. Well, I, I mean, if you promise not to kill me, I'll, I'll give you it this. And he holds up a piece of paper with numbers on it. I read it. Uh, there are numbers. It is probably the combination to get through that door. Thank you. Uh, wait here, friend, and... while we try that out. <laughs> I'll stay with him, sure. And push yeah, too. Pushed against him. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to enter the code or we'll ask. And uh, ask Glaive to read it out to me so I can enter it probably. 48733. Three. No. Okie dokie. You punch Good it enough. in, and sure enough, that door opens. And it's a good thing, too, because on the other side is a deactivated heavy turret. Oh. I'm, I'm that would have been bad. Guardsmen to just take him out. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, I do take that as a sign of just how primitive these Monkai are. They use a base 10 number system instead of base 12, like a civilized race. Right. Yeah. Ugh. No, no, let that guy go. He's, he's, he's alright. The way I see it, I'm going to pistol whip him. That way he can wake up and tell the story of how he fought valiantly against the the foul Eldar menace. Yeah, they should, either that they or... I mean, I was just going to smite him if you didn't do that, so... As exactly. I say, either that or he's going to get commissared later. So this is this is a mercy. Yeah. So All right. Do I need to roll? Do I need to roll for this? I mean, if or... you want to go for glory, yeah. No. Okay. Uh, okay you you that. you pistol whip him and you put him over here in the corner. All right. Uh, you know what? The one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot him in a non-vital area. Okay. What? Oh. Make it look like he. Make it look Make like, it look like, like he actually fought. Yeah. As, as Seneca pulls up uh, the the shooting pistol, it's Henry and just lifts his sword and says, "Well, you know." Hey. Hey. That's, why? That's just faster. We're wasting time here. What's your problem? 
Sure. Uh, my, pro my problem is explosions. I just think that it's always interesting to see the way that the weave works. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, well, uh, I'm going to... Uh, I mean, that doesn't seem like a big problem. That doesn't seem like it's working out there. I'm all so, for adding new threads to it. That's all. Um, Enough have been extinguished in my lifetime. You want to make us a quick Senny? Yes. Old chummy old pal? Yes, I'm going to hit that quickening. And I'm going to hit that oh. quickening good. And I'm not going to perils because we've had enough perils already. Just realized I'm standing next to you and should typically stand uh, there. Hey. I didn't perils. Glory right. even. Nice and I got a glory out of it. Yeah. All right, we're ready. Ninja run. So, uh, we can uh, move what? So, so what does that do? Does that double our run speed? or Yes. Double movement. Doubles our movement. Mm -hmm. well, I'm just going to 16 move up instead to... of 8. Yeah. I'm just going to so... move up to here. I was going to say, so all of you can move fully into the room, basically. Um, and what you see in this room uh, is that it is uh, next to the power generator for this bunker. That's where the red light is coming from there on the right. Uh, there's almost like a glass window and a door that leads into the generator room. Uh, but what's most important for you guys is that over here against the left-hand wall... Uh, is not only a variety of uh, Monkai weapons, nothing that you would ever dirty your hands with, but standing uh, sort of full set of uh, Howling Banshee armor. Dope. You know I'm from Crawford, Ibrazo. We're all about that. I wonder if it fits. I could go over and inspect it and do like an investigation. Sure, uh, roll me a uh, Scholar Difficulty 2. Oh. Scholar? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm not actually great at Scholar, unfortunately. Is Avon actually trying to put the armor on? I was I was going to see if it fit first and then do it. <laughs> uh, did your genitals turn into the night? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, I mean, you could just you could just tuck it in. It's fine. Just tuck um, it in. So yeah, the, the, the most you can do with a uh, roll of one there is that uh, I would say it does not... Um, the most you're able to do is tell is that uh, it is probably, you know, you've only heard about so many Banshee armor that have been taken by the Imperials, so this is probably it. But that's about all you're able to figure out. All right, let's... All right, let's disassemble it. Each take a leg or something, just so we don't have one person lugging an entire suit around and make ourselves scarce. I'll hook the helmet to my belt. Sounds good. I'm mm -hmm. going to slip That's... into the pants. Slave will grab the arms. And uh, I'll form yes. the head. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh, so uh, what is going to happen is that uh, as all this happens, um, you hear the shout of what is probably a commissar wondering, what the hell happened here? And at the same time, uh, let me see who would have vision. Uh, at the same time, as I put their tokens on the uh, on the screen, um, there is a hole burned into the ceiling of the bunker, and it just burns a hole. And I'll I'll draw it as an actual shape here. Uh, burns about that size of a, a hole into the bunker, and dropping uh. down in through the hole are what appear to be five Eldar. Oh. Well, this is unexpected. Hey, hey, kid. What's up? Most unexpected. How you guys doing? Do we recognize them? Uh, no. They are wearing different colors than the ones that uh, Rary's people uh, wear. Um, in fact, uh, you're pretty sure that they weren't part of Rary in any way, shape, or form. Um, they, uh, one of them is a bit more impressively dressed. Uh, he has on an actual faceplate instead of just, like, the mask. Um, but, uh, he sort of looks around, sees the commissar, and s then looks back at you and says, Ah, good, you found the armor. Uh, keep it safe. We'll, we'll handle the commissar here. Alright, yeah, sounds good. Let's... Okay. <laughs> sounds great, but who are you, though? Eh, he doesn't answer, uh, but he uh, tells his men to turn and open fire. 
And I'll roll, uh, just because there is the possibility that they could uh, roll a complication here. So let me pull them up. All right, so four attacks. So this is going to be one. Okay, two. Okay, three. Uh-huh. Four. No perils. And uh, pretty sure that they don't have to roll too heavily on damage here, but let's see what happens. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, <laughs> so uh, their combined fire with their shuriken pistols tears through uh, the commissar and her two guardsmen. And uh, they are dead on the floor. Uh, but uh, once they're done, uh, they turn back in unison to you all. And uh, the Felark, or at least you would identify him as a Felark, uh, sort of steps forward a little bit and says, All right, come this way. We've burned a hole through the ceiling, so you can just uh, web way out of here if you wanted to. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, no who are you, though? <laughs> I'm going to hold for a second. Yeah, me too. Did you disable the wards? The hexagramic wards? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but who are you, though? Oh, I'm I'm Felark Golan. Okay. And what are you doing here? How how do you know about what's going on? Oh, I here to help recover that armor. And he points at the parts that are uh on all of you. And uh I will say if you uh you wanna roll me, I think it's an awareness. Uh it's inside as well. Oh, yeah, insider awareness here. Okay, I'll do it. Oh mother. Wolf. Yikes. Okay, I see a one, a three, a two, and then did I miss glaives? I don't know, I haven't rolled yet. Okay, go ahead and glaive, because this is uh, very important. <laughs> Save us. All right, glaive, with your four successes, uh, you're probably already guessing this out of character, but something's off here. Uh, his arrival is too, uh, too good, convenient. and the fact that he just killed a bunch of uh, commissar and... You know, it, it's it's too convenient. One second. Uh, just double checking how telepathy works. And you guys got uh, glory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some glory. Take it. Uh... Oh, yeah, I got it. I didn't realize it was me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, I think Glaive's gonna set up a like a telepath network with the group. Okay. So we can like okay. have yep. a quick rapid conversation without them noticing. Alright, I believe it still requires a power roll, power yes. Roll, yes. Yes. Don't <laughs> perils. Three. Please, for the love of all that is holy, do not perils. I don't want a centering to be eaten by demons. It's gonna ruin my day. Okay, no, we didn't perils. Well. And you succeeded the crap out of that. Yeah. And and since it's three and yeah i'm just gonna shift it may as well i'm just gonna shift all four of those glories into boosting the range up to like 10 kilometers all right nice. because why not well uh i'm going to say uh that if one of you gives me a point of glory that will include the good farseer i'll spend the okay one with i just that. got yeah i'll all spend right. the one i just got yes all right so, <clears throat> so glaive is like well, just like in the background, just like put a couple of fingers to his temple, sort of get the group, and then sort of Rare, eh, so yeah. this is actually a good place for psychic stuff, and then sort of reaches up and sort of pings uh, Rary up in the ship. Yeah. So uh, the Farseer does answer and says, ah, I take it you're ready for pickup then. Yeah, um, we are. Quick question. Do you know a Felark Gullum, and did you did he know we were here? I'm sorry, Felark who? Gullum. Yeah. yeah. He's Gullum <laughs> is there. He is 10 meters in front of me. Then you either need to shoot him in the face right now or get the fuck out. I'm going to shoot him in the face. And, and <laughs> Glaive I? will just cast smite at him. All right, so everybody's <laughs> acting at once here. So... Can I throw one in real quick, too? Yeah, you can throw one in. Go oh, for we're it. still in telepathy before the shots go out. <laughs> I'm going to tell the group that when I start to move to cover their ears. 
what's the uh, defense of uh, Felak Gullen? Probably well, pretty high, uh, out, I guess. It's going to be pretty high. So I will say that we're going to, because there's, I think there's a mechanic for this. Um, I think we actually roll initiative. I think. Oh, yeah. And whoever ends up having the highest initiative will be the person who goes first. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yeah. So oh, then, they're, not, they're not surprised. Well, that's that's. I think that's the surprise rule. I'm remembering. I could be wrong. Yeah, combat initiative. Mm -hmm. All right. So I see a four, a three, a one, and we're just missing a Senrians, I think. Uh, where the hell are you? God, okay, so eyes. four, three, three, one. All right. Uh, well, the uh, Corsair are a mob, so I only roll once for them. All right, they're definitely not cool. going first. And then That's does the like Felark notice in time? The Felark yeah, does notice does. in time. Oh, jeez. So unfortunately... So uh, he probably uh, sees Glaive doing something in the background yeah. and then just sort of catches the subtle indication that Glaive is about to throw a psychic bolt at him. Yep. And he's going to do something that uh, is very bad for certain members of you. Uh, he's oh, going to pull out his fusion pistol and fire it at Glaive. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. So, uh, what is your defense? Uh, wait. I want to play my card. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna my, Go I'm ahead. Gonna play my I'm going to play the Pills of Uop. Since oh. it doesn't seem like we're going to be fighting a psycho, I'll use the uh, all the protagonists uh, gain one wrath. Okay. Oh, wait, no. That's yeah. if, I, I, if I screw uh, a psycho. Otherwise, it's I gain when Rafa draw a new card. Oh, yeah. never mind, mm -hmm. that doesn't work. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll do that if I can get another card, because that's not going to be helpful. All right, well. so do you want to take another card then? Yes, uh, 1d55, was it? Yep, 1d55. No, you should keep that. If you a if 21. we die, you can keep it over and take them out with you. No, we don't keep the cards, we said last week. Yeah, you don't keep the cards between sessions. No, I mean, you should keep it for now. Right. He's, he's saying use one of us as a suicide bomb if it comes yeah. down to it. All right. Well, there's your new card. I get a rough and a new card, so yeah. since I had to use rough to not die earlier. How? Oh, yeah. Anyway, my defense is two. Oh dear. All right. Well, that's a five, and I can shift one for damage. Yes. Yeah. And I have to do full defense. Declare full defense beforehand, right? Before, just before I roll damage, damage yes. Yeah. Uh, hang on, let me just double check how full defense works and see if I have a chance of avoiding damage. It's a, every icon adds to your defense. Mm -hmm. But it will suck away your next turn. Yeah, uh, your yeah. Turn which, will which be I done. think. Yeah, which might be for the best, honestly. Yeah. So. Yeah, is it, is it agility I, or athletics I roll? Initiative. No, no, initiative. <laughs> Hmm. It's probably risky, but if you reckon you could do it. Yeah. Do it. I think the yeah, worst no, my initiative isn't in. the best. I think it'd probably better to just tank the hit and then hit back next round. Okay. Mm, yeah. All right. No, not that you ever want to tank a hit as an Eldar, but. <laughs> you got this... red armor. It's yeah, smart. It'll, it'll be fine until it's not. Ah, uh, oh, so. Boy. There you go. Oh, yeah. 16 damage on that. Uh, that's base damage. Yeah. It's a fusion yep. gun. So um, I negate 8 of that with resilience. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that... Because remember, it is AP minus 4. We have rune armor. Rune armor. Oh, I keep forgetting. You're right. We squishy, squishy. but we got good armor. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so I definitely need to do some good soak rolls here, because I've only got 6 wounds. Yeah. Oh boy. Three of them. Ouch. Uh, let's see, where's the soap damage? I think it's on combat tab as well. Uh, it's all the way to the right. Uh, now, if I'm spending glory... No, I can't spend glory on soap crawls, can I? Not mm. that I'm aware of, no. Yeah. Oh boy. That's when you need wrath. Yep. Yeah. And, I don't, and we didn't start off with any wrath, did we? Well, you're just a refresh. Yeah. So everybody starts off. Oh, okay. Off well, two. I'm definitely spending a wrath now. Okay. Yeah, do it. Do it. 
Oh boy. Nothing. Oh, Nothing. Well, not, now you can use glory to add uh, an extra die. Yeah. And right? I will use that. a glory to add an extra die. Okay, and so just roll another d6. Your other wrath, too. Please roll above then. a four. Oh, oh god. That, that is a two. No, this right, is, this so is I, good. I, this this means yeah. we can actually uh, deal with uh, defiance checks. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah. So okay. first of all, I take two shock. Uh huh. Actually, I yeah. should be three because I was doing the thing. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. Uh, let's deal with the shock first, and then I take seven wounds. Oh mm -hmm. boy. <laughs> I have six wounds. Yep. Oh. Yeah, minus one. So let's see. Uh, if damage goes over, I believe I roll a critical effect. Yes. Sounds yes. Right. I'm trying to check. Uh, yeah. If, da, 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 da. if you fail two defiances, it's like a maiming. Okay, here we go. They uh, they must also take a defiance check whenever they take additional damage when they are at zero wounds. So you must make a defiance check um, immediately. Yep, so now. defiance it's is... Yeah. Okay, so you cannot spend wrath to reroll a defiance check, but you may spend wrath to gain a plus one to the result of the defiance check. But you must do that one. before you roll. Yeah, I will spend my second wrath to do that now. Uh, the defiance is at, is at the start of your turn. Well, no, it's because he would have taken more, like, because he has one more damage than zero wounds. That's why he's having to do the defiance check. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so the uh, way the defiance works is you roll me oh, a 1d6, yes. and uh, on a 6 or higher, or on a 4 or higher, you are stabilized. If you roll a 6, you become fully conscious with one wound, and you do not want to roll a one here. Well, actually, I think it's impossible for you to roll a one because you're you're yeah, already at one. Mm -hmm. You did, however, roll a five here, which becomes, which becomes a, a six. Which becomes a six. So the uh, way no, it no, works. That, that five was no. including that five was including the, plus one. the model. Oh shit! Uh, all right. Well, uh, so the way this works is that Glade, you are shot point blank. Well, you know what I mean uh, by this fusion pistol, and you go down hard. And it just goes what slam against the wall. Mm -hmm. And oh, the Felark for his remaining action is going to duck kind of around the corner here uh, to at least get partial cover and uh, shout an order to his men to open fire. But it is not your guys' turn. Can I um, take ownership uh, on this one, you guys? I can you? Yes. Can you increase our defense? Because you guys are... Essenrian should be fine. If you I make can... Oh, I'm not fine. I'm gonna go uh, I, I, I was the guy who had Protect Jinx, unfortunately. I can oh, shit. Okay. However, I've got a better idea based on what we've got right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I believe so, in you. And based off of what I told you, when we telepathed, cover your ears. Yes. I'm going to step up into the hallway. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to hit that Banshee x Arch mask and make it scream. Oh, dear. Oh, of course, I did this. And I didn't think you guys would actually uh, roll this, but hey. All right, so the way this is going to work, I have to find... What page is this stupid power on? Uh, let's see. Play being unconscious just gets the damage to his eardrums. <laughs> yes. I'm sure your helmet dampens it a little bit. Actually, it probably does. All right, I just <laughs> have mine, to though. find it. Helmets are for nerds. I Here did tell is. you to cover your ears at least, so you got that going for you. Alright, so the way this is going to work is this is going to be a psychic shriek. Okay. Uh, the difficulty will be the target's willpower. Uh, and you can affect multiple multiple targets here, but I need to know who you're targeting. Are you targeting the Felark or are you targeting the Corsairs? Um, hmm. I'm going to target the Corsairs primarily. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to target, like, on this guy right over here. Okay. So that way the Felark might get caught in the cross. All right. Uh, the range is 50 meters, so you're fine. Uh, it specifically says nearby enemies, so aside from covering their ears for flavor, your allies are fine. Yep. Uh, the DN, since you're targeting a Corsair, is going to be a 4. 
Okay, and you said it's as Psychic Shriek, so would that be Psychic Mastery then? Yep, Psychic Mastery. Okay. Alright, you uh, you succeeded, and you can shift to hit an additional target. Uh, I don't have any sixes to shift, but what I am going to do is spend a Wrath to reroll the rest of those. Okay. Into eight successes, <laughs> so not enough. Yeah, no not catch. enough, unfortunately. All right, so the way it works is uh, the target immediately takes 1d3 plus 3 shock, which they're a mob, so it's automatically gone. Um, but since you have a total of yep. 8, uh, you're able to wipe out all of the Corsairs. Yep. So, so the they're, Corsairs they're go down hard. Mm-hmm. Yep. Flap. Nice. All right, Go well, ahead. that was that was a start. It was. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, should we glory? And yes. Wait, you, you already went. I did, but we can spend a glory no, no, on one of no, the. No, but like Felark like Gullen's already gone, so it's yeah. just oh. three oh, goes right. for the rest yeah. of you. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Uh, I'll I'll go next if that's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I I was gonna go and just debuff him so that he can't shoot us. Uh, that. Sure. Does that affect his defense at all? Uh, yeah, it can do. I can do that if that's easier. If you prefer that, that'd be nice. Okay. Boop. Um. Okay. Let's see. Um. <laughs> now, there's a few things I could do here. I could try and make a. I could try and make a cold shot with the whip and just whip the gun out of his hand. Mm -hmm. so that he can't use it at all or I can do an interaction a persuasion to try and uh, and just do an interaction that way I feel like he's not going to be persuaded he, if I get three sixes I get a player's probably, call he's probably so feeling pretty good about himself since he did just one shot one of us okay so, so you reckon just whip it out of his hand yeah I'd, I'd whip it good alrighty Let's go. Cool. Well, uh, so I, I'm i actually worried that that, even, that might not even hit him. <laughs> What's his defense? Well, uh, called shot, if I recall correctly, uh, since you're hitting a uh, pistol, plus two, yeah. plus two uh, which means that he has six. Okay, so that meet to beat, yeah. That meets it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah, so I guess I just... Blam. Okay. Uh, if the attack hits, the victim must make a strength test against the DN equal to half the attack's total damage. Yeah, so you do need to roll damage. Okay. Well, so this is the whip, not the pistol. Yeah. yeah. Actually, a little worse. So that's just nine damage. Just nine damage. All right. So he needs to roll a four, five. Five. I five. think rounds up. Yeah, I don't think he's making it. Nice. No. Yeah. So uh, his pistol goes ka ching ka ching ka ching over in the, the corner. Blessed be nice. Eldar Frailty. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll All right. go next. Uh, right. I would I would say get back. Yeah. If you still have a bit of movement, get get the hell out of here. And I am unconscious. I actually don't have any more movement. <laughs> oh. Unless unless uh, thingy is still active, unless Quicken is. But no, I let it fall off a while ago. So I'll, I'll run past everyone and then and then I'll lift my uh, my two blades at uh, Fella Colin and say, "Let's uh, let you taste a bit of your own medicine." Right. And I'm on a molten beam in space. Ah. And it, it, I need to, I keep rolling two rave die uh, rave die. I don't need so well, ignore. Yeah, ignore one of them. And right. uh, I need to meet his defense. So yeah, you I don't you meet it. You meet it. All right, so what was the defense for? Uh, his defense was a four, yes. All right, so I can shift uh, that six, which I'll do for two extra, no, one extra dice of damage, mm -hmm. uh, which is already in there, because that's what I did to explode the, the, our target on the black. Oh, yeah, that's why it doesn't work. Uh, so that's eight, uh, 19 damage. 19 and he damage. has to make... And he has to make an agility test DN4, or he's going to be set on fire. Okay, uh, so I'm just running the numbers here. Uh, yes, he can attempt to soak, but I have to spend a ruin to do it. So he will attempt to soak. 
I don't think he's soaking much, but you know, let's uh, let's see what he rolls. Okay, a little that bit. that rolls that goes down to a sixteen. Um, so his armor is that much. His health is that much. So is there anything I can do here? Because I know he has that on him. Because he might just die out right here. Give me a second. I have to look up what a certain force field does. 303. I think I know which one it is. But... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 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 Okay. Uh, so, even with uh, his Shimmer Shield, uh, you do enough damage that he's dead on the spot. Nice. Um, but I'm going to spend one Ruin to uh-huh. say that enough of him survives that he can answer a question or two. But oh, okay. uh, we are technically out of combat, but not really, because Glaive needs to be making defiance checks. I'm going to go Medicaid. Oh, well, I, you guys talk to the boss. I, I well, think I'm, I, once I've actually succeeded, I've stabilized. Oh, you're, you're right. You're right. You just need to roll a five. So yes, you're stabilized. So yeah, we're out of combat then. Yeah. I'm going to Medicaid okay. him to get my wound back. So that way he can get uh, back. That'll up. bring me back to consciousness. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, think I'm going to go up I'm to him and hoik off the... Um, <sighs> The, the shield. The... Oh no, like everything on him is burnt to a crisp. Like his fusion oh. pistol, his shimmer shield, his armor. He's uh, basically lo- he's basically Anakin Skywalker at the end of the third movie. He did not the, have that. The right? pistol is not. Oh, you're right. You knocked it away. Hand. You knocked it away, yeah, yeah. so you could get the pistol. Oh. Steely steel. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm going to go up to him and just be like, hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, look, this is a this is probably, you know, a weird time for you, getting your shit pushed in by us. But uh, how about you uh, tell us what's what's going on with you? Why are you here? Come, come closer. I mean, I would like to not lean in. <laughs> if that's, I'm just gonna stand up. I'm not getting no, shanked he, he, or getting he, he motions for you to come closer. I I don't have a lot left. Oh come on. All right, I'll. Give in. All right. He uh, he pulls himself a little bit up on using your shoulders, and he whispers into your ear, "Fuck you!" And then he dies. Oh. <laughs> so he's, he's, he's one of those. Explodes. <laughs> and he's dead. I, I'm I'm gonna go and pick up his uh, melter pistol. His fusion pistol. Hey hey hey, right. hey, 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 hey! You don't need that. Uh have you seen what I do? Yeah, you already have that. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got better, really. It's my area of expertise. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, twist, uh, twist the gun around. Uh, handle first towards uh, the prince. No, I was going to give it to. Uh, I think Glaive's got good ballistic, right? G- Glaive's got a spear. No, not really. Yeah, I think it's Seneca that could use it the most. Yeah, it's Seneca. Yeah. yeah. I'll take it. And I'm also going to start collecting the spirit zones that are still intact, if there are any. Off- there uh, are none, over. actually. None of them were wearing spirit cool stones. Guy. Okay, then. Then, in that case, um... Fuck, you said he's, uh... Basically Anakin? Yeah. Well, can we can we take the, uh... Shuriken pistols from the post guy? I'm going to... Let's grab the charred face mask or something. I'm going to risk corruption on this one. I'm going to use the chopper to take his head. Okay. Can I grab the... Can I gather the shuriken pistols from the Death Course heads? Oh, yeah. You could gather uh, four shuriken pistols. No problem. All right. Now, let's... Now, uh, for corruption for this, I think you have to roll... What is it? uh, I think there's actually a button on your sheet for it. Yeah, there's a button on the sheet for it. Conviction or resist corruption. Yeah. Yeah, we got corrupted last time. I mean, you got corrupted last time. I was fine. I, I think you're fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. It's it's a grim duty, but it's a necessary one, and it's not the first time I've done it. All right. 
So as you take his head uh, and hold it up to inspect it, uh, you do hear coming from one of his earpieces that miraculously survived. uh, They're saying, sir, uh, we're detecting fluctuations in your life signs. Would you like us to webway you out of there? Oh. Uh, Um, Yes, we need to go and... Oh, but you're a whinge of shit. That's... Well, that's his earpiece, not our earpiece. That's what I'm saying. We gotta go and go back I'm to the ship and going establish to, yeah, ourselves we're, as the right we're, worse for, we're worse for wear right now. Okay. So I'm gonna say yeah, no. let, let's make ourselves scarce before the rest of the guard shows up. I'm going to persuasion acting or deception. God, mm-hmm. I don't have I don't have good on either of these. I can do it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand the earpiece to him since he, since he offered, and just talk him down. Talk him down. Talk him down. Yeah. Just, uh, well, I was actually thinking, does anyone have any sort of explosives? Yes. Okay, like that we can set on him because I think no. what we should do is get him to call back. Uh, like, wait, wait, wait a second, and I'll run to the. Uh... Smited bodies of uh, gods. And <laughs> yeah, I was gonna give, say. Give a good... uh, so each body has two grenades on them, which, if oh. I do my math correctly, means you could strap about sixteen grenades to this guy. Oh, okay. and that, that dude here is dead. Can we? Uh, let's. I'm gonna do an investigation for other explosive stuff. Okay. Well, uh, actually, no. Can I do a tech to actually instead of that? I want to do a tech to rig. To, to find some stuff in here that we can rig into bombs, I think will be better. Yeah, at one point, will... his, his guys are waiting on an answer. Uh-huh. Yes, but I'll yeah. be like, yeah. Okay, I'll... so I'll do that first. I'll be like, mm-hmm. uh, just... Uh, just give us a second. <laughs> with the complication. Shit! Yeah, <laughs> you're complication. Glory and wrath. Do something. Um, I can spend glory. Yeah, it's still a complication, though. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, but yeah, I know. Uh, All right. So the way uh, the way it'll go down then is uh, a portal in the webway opens next to you, and uh, nobody steps out of it, but the portal does open. You have no idea where it goes. Okay. Just for them, like pull the pin for the grenades. Yeah. Should we uh, juggle some grenades in there? Throw his body and the grenades through at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So I think, well, I did a tech test to try and scrounge up some other explosives, something bigger, and I got a two and a complication. So, yeah, uh, I would say that uh, besides the frag grenades, short of trying to strip the bolter rounds from the gun servitors, but that would take time. Time you don't have. And I just, okay. I just make a pile of grenades, pull the pin, and throw it. Through. Okay. Yeah, and his body as well. We're just gonna whip that in there. Sure. Okay. So, uh, of course, you don't really see or hear what goes on on the other side, but almost immediately you get a call from Rary. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, I'm just going to assume you didn't mean to throw Gullen's corpse and a bunch of grenades into our cargo hold. <laughs> oh, God. It was his earpiece that was going off, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, the complication was is that as he was adjusting it for himself, he pushed a button and accidentally got oh. rary. Oh. Oh. Let's, oh. uh... We just spent all the grenades, didn't we? Yup. Yeah. I'm gonna let one of you guys bluff them. <laughs> uh, in our defense, we thought the portal went through to his ship. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, you guys still want a ship, though, right? Correct. Yeah. Well, it just uh, so happens... How long are we going to be on cleaning duty? Oh, you'll be on cleaning duty for quite a while, but uh, if you want a ship... Uh, well, there's nothing really left of him now, but we are detecting a uh, vessel beginning to leave orbit. If you guys webway through back now without oh. throwing more grenades at us, we could probably catch them. Yes, so, quick, we just oh, go. Well, let's do that, Let and fly. we'll just stumble through the portal. All right. Yeah. I'll drag the corpse along with us, too, while we're at it. Oh, no, the corpse already got... Oh, yeah, we threw yeah. the corpse... Yeah, we threw it with yeah. the grenades. Okay, yeah. 
So we come through into this Scorch Blast crater in the hangar bay. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it does not look great. Uh, Rary is there waiting, just shaking her head and says, this is why you always check to see where the webway portal goes before throwing things through it. I was actually literally thinking of doing that. <laughs> it's like, nah, it'll be fine. Um, but no. So uh, narratively, uh, you guys uh, go back up to the bridge, and as you do, uh, you are able through skilled piloting to catch up to the uh, dead Felark's ship. Now, the way it works uh, is there's one of two ways we can do this, and I'm going to let you guys decide here. Um, we can either try actual void ship combat, or we can handle this in a more narrative fashion. It's whichever one you guys would prefer. I have the sheet set up for actual starship combat, so it's just which one you guys would prefer. I'm game for like taking a five minute break and then coming back to a void ship combat. I'm up for void ship on the grounds that yeah. our party needs time to recoup before any kind of potential ground based combat. Uh, yeah, okay. I think that sounds good. Yeah. All right, uh, why don't we take a five to ten minute break then and we will go into void ship combat. All right, excellent.
right, and we're back from break. So, uh, again, to paint the scene, uh, the Yatilra, uh, I'll say it right eventually, it is my own ship that I named. Uh, the Yatilra is chasing uh, the Amaril, the ship of the former Felark, as you are leaving orbit of uh, the planet you just recovered the Banshee armor from. And, uh, as promised, we are going to do uh, at least a few rounds of starship combat here. Uh, just so that everybody can get a taste for it, uh, see what we like, see what we don't like, things of that nature. Because I think the only thing we haven't done yet is uh, vehicle combat. Uh, void ship combat is different enough from vehicle combat that it's worth doing. Um, so let's just see what happens. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to going A-team in a Falcon Grav tank. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll oh, be a good yeah. time. Awesome. Um, but yeah, so the way void ship combat works is uh, you guys go all at once, and then uh, the NPCs get a number of actions equal to its scale. Uh, oh, I guess it's also worth saying that we are using my expanded void ship combat rules. Uh, if you're not familiar with those, uh, there should be they should be linked on Cicatrix Maledictum as well as my Patreon. Uh, long story short there, I basically added a few things that Ulysses, for whatever reason, did not include. Uh, things like default crew ratings and certain damage rolls. So uh, if I say something that doesn't match up with your knowledge of what's in the book, it's probably because we've homebrewed it. Um, but the way this will work is all four of you guys will go, and then all four of the NPCs will go, and we'll just bounce back and forth uh, like that. Um, so the other thing that happens uh, on the start of your turn is that unless you turn 90 degrees, uh, your ship proceeds to go half its speed forward. So mm -hmm. your speed is an 8, which means you go four squares forward. So where would you guys like to go? Which which of the four would you like to go? So do, do we want to just go up straight behind them or start like, trying to flank yeah. around the side? Straight behind, I think. Okay, so that would be uh, U19, I believe. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and move yourselves there. I have returned. Welcome back. And just in time, because now uh, it is your call. Uh, each of you, again, gets an action, and uh, you guys can do whatever you like with those actions. I think we should now, start. We should now, start now, now, for the test, will we be doing those ourselves, or will those be crew doing those? Uh, those will be you doing them. So it kind of, you know, motivates you to have certain skills. But if you would rather the crew roll them, we can have the crew roll. Uh, but just know that that's me yeah. rolling, not you guys rolling. Cool. Oh, okay. So my tech isn't amazing, but it's not terrible. Yeah, I would like to, you know, do like a, what's it called? Uh, a shot when you shoot someone, but we are, you should Cold you don't shot. shoot them. Cool shot. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, warning shot. I was, warning I was shot. thinking. Oh, yeah. And basically, try and intimidate, intimidate the other crew. Okay. The ship is bigger. I I don't know. I think what would be more intimidating is if you do like a cold shot and hit something really important. But I don't want to damage anything important. Well, before uh, that, though, yeah, um, I was thinking of doing a using the auger array to scan for weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that is a expanded task, so I'll go into it. So it's a tech test against the defense of a void ship within four kilometers, which you are, and success increases the AP uh, by one by the vessel's next attack against the target. Plus an additional one AP per two shifts. Mm -hmm. How much? How much is your tech? Uh, five. Okay. All right. So your number to beat here is a four. Actually, wait. It's its defense. Uh, your number to beat here is a seven. Okay, so that's a little outside my wheelhouse. So I you can have the crew roll. I would have to get. <laughs> Yeah, let's let, let the crew roll. They've probably got higher tech. Okay. Alrighty. So, uh, they're going to roll seven die. And let's see what happens. Yes. Well, uh, they rolled three. Uh, if one of you forfeits your wrath, they can, uh, you know, re-roll 
at least partially. I got one more wrath that I can drop on it. All right. What's that it? Seven. That's all they need. Amazing. So, uh, your next attack uh, against this vessel will have an increased armor penetration. All right. Um, I well, like what, to... What's something that we want to take out that'll sort of show we mean business, but not be that inconvenient to repair? The captain's quarters. <laughs> or, like, the second um... mate, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I was actually thinking of, like, taking out, like, a long-distance communications array or something. Mm, yeah, yeah. What, uh, what systems are there on the, on the ship? Is it just the same as what's on well, the Well, uh, since you did succeed at an Argor test, uh, you know that uh, the Amarill, uh it has, obviously, an Augur array. Uh, it has etheric tines, which lets you move uh, 90 degrees. It lets you turn 90 degrees at the beginning of your movement. Uh, it's got hollow fields. Uh, it's also got a uh, prowl lance battery. Uh, it's got a keel void cluster macro cannon. Uh, and it also has torpedoes. Okay. Hmm. I mean, hollow fields? I mean,. I don't know. Or turning. I think turning might... <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Might be good. Yeah, so like, aim for the etheric tines, maybe? I think that sounds good. Rally. Oh, oh rally's nice. actually pretty good. Yeah, I was say, if you haven't found Leadership rally over test to get a bonus. Yeah. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying to rally, but... Low. Do it. All right, leadership. Uh, can I assist? Oh. Got a two. Yeah, cool. even with an assist, uh, I don't think he's making it. Unfortunately. Nah, that's okay. I didn't. I didn't complicate things. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you guys have two more actions before it is their turn. So, Sandrin, you wanna you wanna intimidate them? Yeah. Yeah. Do. So but I guess I don't, I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily have to. Go now, I can go last, if that helps. I think I was going to either harden shields or do evasive maneuvers. Okay, then I'll, I'll try first. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hail them mm -hmm. uh, while the ship probably let, does some warning shots, you know, making them uh, aware that we are on their tail. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and we'll see if they answer the, the hail. Okay. Well, you can still uh, you can still say whatever you want uh, unless they literally cut off their comms. They're probably hearing you. You're cutting, you're cutting out for me. Oh, am I back now? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can um, you can do intimidation and persuasion against enemy ships that understand the same language. Uh, it's deception interaction attacks that are possible against uh, all void ships, whether or not they speak your language. Yeah, I want to do an intimidation. Okay. And I'll, I'll say, we've taken your leader out. You can follow us and come into real glory, or you can be destroyed. Okay. And uh, yeah. roll. So. Uh, oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's more, than, that's more than the number of dice I rolled. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, I think I still have to roll something here, but uh, let me see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They're opposing skill or resolve, whichever is higher. All right, so they are going to roll their dice. They have a grand total of that. Survey says... <laughs> they've also rolled a seven. I'll use my glory. You'll use your to glory. To add an extra die. To add an extra die. All right, that's all you need. So uh, what'll ah, happen... Shit. That's a success. That's, That's an eight. A success. That's all you need. Uh, what'll happen is the ship will begin to slow down. They haven't completely stopped, but they have begun to slow down. Okay. Good work. Now you guys have one remaining turn before it is their go. So, question is: hammer it home with persuasion, or 
like defend just in case they try and shoot us. What do you guys think? Hammer it home. Uh, mm. Mm. I'm tempted to say have defenses up just in case. Yeah, I, I'm sort of worried that what's going to happen is we're going to, you know, they're pirates, they're shifty. They're gonna, we're going to be drawn in close and then they're just going to shoot us. But, yeah, I'm not sure. It's like tech. Nah, I'm going to do piloting to do evasive maneuvers because I think that's going to be better for us, right? Like having higher defense will be... We already have a defense of like... Yeah, okay. Yep, I'm just going to do pilot. Let's go! Alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so uh, you do have to complete... Uh, your movement. So you need to move somewhere within four. So where would you like to go? Uh, up there, yeah. To Q15. To Q15? Okay. Yep. Cool. Right up there. All right. And that is your entire action as it is now the Amiriel's turn. Uh, yeah. Name's hard. English bad. Uh, so the first thing they're going to do uh, is they are going to open up with their uh, Void Cluster Macro Cannon. So your defense right now, if I have it correct, is a nine. Yeah. I have rolled a four. Therefore, misses you completely. Swish. Uh, the next thing that they do is they are going to... Oh, I forgot to move them. So they need to move four. So they go there. Uh, they're going to spend one action to turn 90 degrees. Uh, move the rest of their movement. And then for their final action, they're going to open fire again at a higher difficulty. I never said they were bright. <laughs> yep, still missing. But it is now your guys' turn again, and I'm going to point out the fact that unless you spend your, turn, your first action to turn 90 degrees, you're going to fly yeah. straight into it. <laughs> yeah. The green skin um, wants me to go for it, but I mean, I don't. I we shouldn't ram them. The bad idea. That's a really bad idea. I th I think more than anything, Rary would gape us open real quick. Yeah. We can spend well, my action to pivot. It's it's space. Can't we just go up or down? Yeah, that's that's starting to do a three D nonsense. So, well, maybe if we did like a piloting test to like evade. Yeah, I, I, I would say that if you want to do a pilot test to go, quote-unquote, up or down, sure. Uh, but you do have 90 degrees, as because you've got a Theoric Tines, too. Yeah. Mm. We can spend my action to take care of that, because I'm not doing a whole lot else here. Okay. Don't you have good shooting? Who has good shooting? I mean... <laughs> Isenrin, what's your ballistic? Shit. Okay. I've got, um... Six, I've got a six total... Uh, we can salvo and stuff, so that can be basically yeah. like an. Are, I, I want. I want to try. I want to try and intimidate again. Are there weapons on the fore or are they on the broadsides? Uh, they're on the broadsides. Okay. Um, we we get a little bit of movement too with my movement, right? Yep. So you could go anywhere within four. Um, I'm gonna say instead, let's give it away. Um, okay. Within four, so we have to move. It has to, to be four. It has to be a total of four. Uh, can I pivot again afterwards? Uh, yes. Because again, you have etheric tines. What's the uh? My last question here is: What's the arc of fire? Uh, their arc of fire is ninety degrees on each side. So this is one arc. So we'd also have that same arc of fire. Though. Yeah, you'd, you'd also have that same arc. Yeah, we've got to get behind him, really. Yeah, so we're going to pivot that way. We're going to move two, three, four. And with that 90 degree arc of fire, that was the wrong thing. <laughs> that we should still be able to shoot. Maybe. I don't know. I mean. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. I just need to check the range here. 
Uh, five, C, five kilometers. Yes, you're still within range. Cool. There we go. That's that's my action. All right. So are you guys firing or is the crew firing? I... Because uh... the crew is rolling seven. I think we're going to... I think I'm going to go to the, you know, the, the gunnery people and be like, uh, oh, think you yeah. can put a shot into something critical? Let's see what happens. Oh, our broadside. Yeah. All right. So they're going to roll. Uh, so I'm basically asking them to do a cold shot. Is... Ooh, oh. Does anybody have any wrath they'd like to uh, give them? I'm out. I'm out. Yep. I got one. Got I got one. two, so I'm giving you one. All right. Ooh. 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 So uh, they miss, and in the process, what happens is that your uh, macro cannons are now jammed and in the process of being fixed. Uh, uh, nope. Oh. I will use Praise the Machine Spirit and choose one weapon that is uh, out of ammunition or jammed, and the weapon is uh, reloaded or unjammed as a free action. Once during the current scene, and the weapon, the weapon's wielder gains one wrath. Oh well, there you go. You guys get your wrath back, even. There you go. Awesome. The ship. That guy. <laughs> that so, guy gets the wrath. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you guys have two more actions. Um, I want to try and intimidate them. Intimidate them again, and I'll just send. A, I, w- I want to send a video feed of the of their leader's charred head. Okay. Uh, wait. Keep- I think keep that as a power play for when we when we bamf onto the bridge. Mm. All right. I think. I think. I'm thinking just... maybe maybe just send an image of you holding up three fingers and then take one of the fingers down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. You have three minutes to surrender. It's been a minute already, and I, I lower a finger and, and cut the communication. All right. Go ahead and roll your intimidation. Come on, big money, no whammies. <laughs> wow. Jeez. That's wow. even better than the previous one. <laughs> it's just like fire with these uh, You know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to roll it. They're like, all right, calm down, buddy. And they come to a complete stop. Amazing. Good work. It's, right, it's impossible. Go. Those rolls. <laughs> let's bamf over. Yeah. Alrighty. I guess we prepare boarding parties. Mm hmm. Uh, just us. I think all we need is the Senrian, just on the bridge. Who has the head? <laughs> I do. So. Yeah. Give it to a Senrian. Give it to a Senrian. Alright. <laughs> so. And just, you know, I'll, I'll have uh, the head in my uh, left left uh, hand, I'll have the, um, what's it called, the uh, Sorcerer Blade, uh, the... God, names. Void Blade. The Witch, the witch Blade, on, uh, like on my, on my right shoulder, you know, like, you know who's boss. I gotcha. Would All you right. like to use the chopper to impale the head on to all that? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, uh, so uh, what happens when you go over there uh, is you find out that there's a reason why uh, they stopped, and a reason why it's a dark Eldar design is that when you arrive, uh, you literally are met by your dark kin. And uh, one of them comes up and identifies themselves, and it's the strangest thing. Uh, it's almost as if someone took Rary and made her a dark Eldar. And uh, <laughs> I, it, you know, I'm not doing this on purpose. Like I literally wrote it this way. Um, she says, "All right, which one of you killed the old old guy?" I want to I'll say just so. I'll just throw the the head at her feet. Did he suffer? He melted. <laughs> must yeah, have been very painful. Must have, must have been very painful. I wish I could have tasted it. All right, well, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told him. Uh, my crew is, of course, willing to follow you wherever, so long as we are given our fair share of slaves, equipment, ammo, you know, basic tribute. Uh, what, so. Let's talk percentages. What are you thinking? I think a 60-40 split. Oh, <laughs> I don't think that's I don't think that's quite good enough. 60-40 for us. Or oh, I'll do no, to you what I did to him. 
Uh, let's see, two, three, four, five. Yep, and I don't have enough ruin to do anything with that. So she says, lowest I'll go is 50-50. Oof, I mean, is there any other way we can convince her? Because, I mean, we got to show who's boss. There has to be no illusion. I'll turn to, to Avon and be like, how many people do you think we need for this ship? Yeah, this seems to be you a know, lot. Like... I don't think we need them all. No, I, I will I say think... that uh, if you give me a point of your glory, I will give you a hint on how this could work. I'll spend my glory for that. Okay. <laughs> all right. I will simply say that uh, there is a reason it looks like a splitting image of Rary. As it is. <laughs> it's a sister. <laughs> I mean... Yep, so... Do, do either of you want to sort of, uh, what you call it, uh, bring that subject? Your I, subject I'm sort of worried about doing that. I, I'm not sure if that's actually going to be a good good idea. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. I'll take the plunge on this one. Okay. All right. Your sister has been most hospitable to us. Would you wait, not want to prove wait, yourself Wait, hold on, hold on, better? hold on. You know my sister? She's uh, She's been our ride. Okay, hold on. I, I just want to make sure I understand this correctly. You mean to tell me that my little sister is not only chauffeuring you assholes around, but oh. she lets you kill one of her outstanding lovers? Well, apparently he wasn't so outstanding. I like this guy. <laughs> and your sister also <laughs> shot your ass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he is she, quite something, but... uh, She said shoot okay. first. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what. Since I like you so much, 60-40 in your favor. Agreeable terms. Very well. Then let me be the first to welcome you to the Cult of Strife's amazing ship. Cool. All right. And yeah, What's your that... name, Ethan? Oh, my name? Well, you know, I don't go by the name that my mother gave both of us. Uh, you can simply call me E. Or I'm if you don't like E... I have a much longer name. Yeah, that I'd prefer that one, like a real name. <sighs> Very well. Make me find it in my freaking notes. <laughs> it's here somewhere, heard it is. Uh, my name is Elsaris. Oh, Elsaris. Charming, very, very nice name. Hmm. Oh, and because I really want to see the look on your faces, yes, my last name is Hesperax, as is Rary's. Oh. Oh. Well then. Well, I think I've seen your mother perform. Hmm. You should keep that memory close, because there are many among us who would love to kill to get it. I was not aware that she allowed herself to, uh, find herself so predisposed. Hmm. Indisposed, I don't know. Uh, there's a long story there, but come! I suppose I have to show you around my ship now. Well, our ship now. Yes, uh, do remember that, uh, Pirate King Asenrian is uh, does not take kindly to insubordination. Hmm. I don't know if I like him as much. I like this other guy. I don't know if I like this one. <laughs> Do you play <laughs> dice cards on this ship? Uh, of fucking course. What are we, Monkai? <laughs> hey. And nice. yeah, uh, I think that is a perfect way to end today's session. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, hopefully you guys had fun. Uh, uh, one yeah. important thing yes. is uh, Incendrian will just ask Osiris to show him his new captain quarters. Oh, of course, yes, they will. They will show you it, no problem. Um, Looking forward to seeing Rara's reaction when she finds out her older sister's on the Corsair ship. I think it'll be a, it'll be a good moment. We'll cover uh, next session because um, there's a lot that has to happen between now and then. Um, but yeah, uh, so real quick, because again, I want there to be a record of it. Uh, I'm going to award you guys five BP. So I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like there's a question mark at the end of that sentence. Well, it's also because I'm also giving you guys a ship. So yeah, let's, let's keep it at five. That's, that's fair. Oh, come on. You didn't give us anything. We took it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who put the ship there to take in the first place? I wonder. That's fair. Uh, yeah, so let's do five BP. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, let me uh, let me end the stream, and then we'll do some you know housekeeping. But uh, yeah, to anyone watching on Twitch, YouTube, etc., etc., thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see these guys next week, hopefully. See ya.